letter. Now it ain't a love letter. Rather you just go pay. Letter. Yeah. My heart keep on pushing. My brain steady pulling in different directions. He rose, what you do with letter. What's good, world? What's Peace, good, y'all, world. Yeah. Daily reminders, right? Check it out. It wasn't until I was lost. Episode. My bad. Was that my phone? Look, I always got my phone. See, I'm trying to. Yeah. Look at me. What's good, world? Yeah. You in for another episode of the Gas Mask Tribe podcast where we filter out that buh. And, um, yep, it is going down. We're trying to. We like trying to get everything. We always, it always takes a couple seconds for us to kind of get this stuff. Okay, now we on. We on. Look, we on fully. Look, we on for fully. Yeah, boom. What's good, world? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. What's good? Gas Mask Tribe Podcast, where we filter out that bullshit. And check, people, go follow us on the Gas Mask Tribe, IG, Facebook, Powered by Beacon Radio. Also, Go download uh, the podcast also on um, Anchor and Apple and Spotify. And we out there, man, you know. Also, if you guys, it would help us a lot. It would also help Beacon Radio. It would also help Generation X, you know, and, um, to donate. So if you guys can donate to Cash App, uh, Gas Mask Tribe TV. Zell, Cash too. App. Zell, you can Zell us. You know what I mean? That would really help. It keeps us strong. If you got a bank account, you send a money order too. Okay. Yeah, man. It's, 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 it's you can add just. You can add just. You gotta have a bank account. Bank account. Bank account. Keep the checks. But yeah, people. Um, and also, please go check out the American Baby album. It's it's actually you know been doing well. I'm actually happy about uh, the sure. music video is gonna yeah. come out uh, a couple days. So y'all go. To that. Yeah, all, man. All, the production company, man. I'm, 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 I'm really trying to give my, yeah, man, give my, give my guns wet. But it's tough, man. When you like doing it on your own, in a way, it's tough, bro. Y'all have no idea. But I'm really learning a lot of tricks, sharpening my tools, and yes, you know. Um, but anyway, people, I'd like to also welcome another great host. Zo, Z O, yeah, to the building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty boy Zo, I'm in the building, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Good looking. It's shaped Zo. Nice guy, Zo. Always nice every time. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's because it's true, y'all. That's because it's true. It's a nice guy. I'm, I'm very sensitive to it, though. I care about your feelings, Z. How you been? You wasn't here last week. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I was blessed, bro. We I'm thought blessed. you had an entanglement. I mean, uh, engagement. Hey. Yeah. I, mean, I, I watched the show, bro. I watched the show. I saw the show. I made sure to see it. I was going to comment on that. I 
I said, oh, he, uh, he got me. He got me, okay. Yeah. No, no, but, but uh, how was it? Yeah, it was good to take me. Uh, I was blessed, man. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was a bunch of blondes. I, I, I went raw. I went raw. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> no, no, bro. I, I was blessed with a, a national commercial, man. Toyota commercial, That's bro. Beautiful. Yeah, Look yeah. At so it. Working commercial. Yeah. Working it. So, what was you, the mechanic, bro? Nah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, actually, I was, I was the driver, bro. I was the, the main driver of the show. Yeah. <laughs> the show, the commercial. Uh, uh, but no, that's beautiful, hey, though. Yeah, no, that's yeah. beautiful, no, that's beautiful, man. Give him a round of applause, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let, and let the audience just go wild on you. Hey, 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 thank you. You know what I'm saying? Stay out, you know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing. Thank you. Thank Y'all look out for that commercial. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's by who? Toyota. Toyota? Yeah, it's the higher uh, truck, the yeah, SUV. Yeah. The new one. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so, 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 so you just did the commercial. They didn't let you take it home or nothing? Nah, I wish, bro. I tried to. Man, now nah, they come back. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, they got to come back. I try, I try to drive, <laughs> drive away. Like, nah, nigga, come back. They had the car. GPS. Yeah. Exactly. You know, know what I'm saying? saying. No, also, but, <laughs> also, everyone, we have now known as Red. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Miss Charlotte. Yeah, that's right. What up, everybody? Yes, sir. Who phone is that? I'm just wondering. Somebody calling me. It's somebody phone. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very important. Like, nigga, you uh, calling host. me, bro? You calling me, and I'm doing something right now. He's a celebrity, bro. Come on, business, business celebrity. Look, look. Hey, yo, what you doing? Hey, what's up, my dude? Come on. You can't be sitting at the bar. Anyway, he said, "Look, you sit in the bar." What is, is that what he said? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all got a call already, I think. Let's see. Who got who a this call? Is. Hello. Uh oh. What's going on? How y'all doing? Uh, oh, that, oh, how you doing? Man. Oh, man. Roddy Rod. Oh, oh, Roddy yeah. Rod. No, we got to get... Bill, Dr. Bill, Bill Good. Hey, what hey, Roddy Rod. We, hey, hey, Rod. We in the intro of the show, man. Yeah. We haven't got through he, the he whole called, party yet. He, he called it early, trying to set it off. <laughs> you trying to get it popping already, Roddy Rod. I feel you, though. I feel you, you know, big on me. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? We ain't even got there the yet. Introduction. Call, call later in the show, Roddy Rod. Like, like You're going to be great. Call later in the show, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. You too, man. Thank All you, bro. Right. Got my niggas. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, bro. We, ver- we verify right now. We verify. Oh, yeah, the yeah. 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 People, yeah. share the podcast. Also, um, we have the missing on the ones and twos. You oh, know. oh I, I thought you was uh, uh, going to uh, Red, but the missus on the one I and two. It, it was just, hey, I did, it, I did, but she was I, like, I, think, I, I think, was I think he missed in, said her name. He said Red, and this we got it. Oh, he I came with the red, red, huh? Look, I, look, look. This was official. Was about to happen. I was going to introduce her, like you know, with a great introduction. But I guess it threw her off, and the whole moment was like a dull moment. So I was like, it's "Okay, right. sure." Uh, really, and then it, nobody it, said nothing. So yeah. I was like, it's "Oh, right. then we got a call came in." I, so I, I got hey, you back, bro. You got, but you got AD, okay. ADHD. You know, know, it's all love. You know, we yeah. love you, right? Uh, yes. You know what? It's cool. You I'm in the, the building? Hey, they got they got a pick on me. I'm the newbie. It's all right. Throw them It's all good. I'm good. Also, the, <laughs> the one y'all been listening to that's in the background, the old Jizzle, my Man. Jizzle. Oh. Dr. Oh. Fizzle! What up, y'all? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad to see Zo back. I, last week I'm like, okay, he ain't gonna call, he ain't gonna say nothing. He uh, just uh, gonna, uh, he just gonna disappear. Nah, bro, I could do that. I was driving. I was driving. Hey so, man, good stuff, man. No, that's that. good stuff. I need a loan though. While you at? Uh, hey, bro. Hey, let's talk about it, bro. <laughs> hey, they said, can you let my, they said, can you let my girl speak a little? Yeah, we will. We gonna let your girl speak. Damn. Don't, that's, don't, that's don't, that's don't. your homies. God damn. Hey, hey, no, hey, this the gas oh, mask yeah. Look, They own it already. Hey, hey you, you, you. You you got fans that's like they gonna make sure. Like, can and, you and, let our exactly, girls speak? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. She, they I hood mean, too. They, 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 let me make y'all us. understand something. She would not be here if she couldn't swing with the best of them. Right. Exactly. Right. Man. You know what I'm right. saying? Hey, you go, me you me. gonna hear from her. She ain't gonna let us not let her talk. Exactly. She gonna right. speak up my mind. Goddamn. <laughs> My voice loud for a reason. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? And let me not let this go too longer. Please, people, understand. That when we bring people on the show, they're really close to us. They're people that we know. They're not anybody that we just bring in here and just kind of wild out and just talk, whatever. We really learn how to filter out the BS in another perspective. 
That's the whole point of the show. Sure. That's another way for us to look at on life. And that's what we want you to learn. Just for you to, yes, it's comedy. Yes, it's fun. It's full entertainment. But a lot of it is really informational, too. So please take it in an informational form. And this guy that I brought here just made that optional and made that bridge for you to understand now what it's like to do what we do, right? Mm -hmm. Because we want to give you guys something that's sustain, like this substance. But sometimes we bring other people here to kind of like, you know, give us their perspective. But I believe this person is really going to solidify that bridge in an inspirational, motivational, really get down to the nitty gritty. You know what I mean? And uh, he's the probably the lyrics, probably the hardest lyrics that you know that ever hit the mic that I ever seen. Why? Because you know, I don't know, know anybody that can go bar for bar on the freestyle. You know? Oh shit! <laughs> What's up? Period. You know he's played with some of the greatest, and I'm horrible with introductions. So please, people, don't judge me on introductions. Just know that this man is very, very credible, qualified, good dude too. His, Real good dude. His experiences. You know he's an entertainer. He's a motivational speaker. He's an inspirationalist. He's also a realist, I like to say, because some of his, you know, his stuff on Instagram be like really hitting that hard. So you guys really have to pay attention to what we're saying tonight. It's really gonna be helpful and enjoy yourself. Why? Because we have deploy everyone. Yeah, yeah. deploy the building. Yeah. 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 What's going on? What's going on? So I'm horrible. I am like when the crowd's real loud. Man, the crowd is going wild. Let, 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 let them step in. The stadium, the stadium's going let, crazy. Let, let, let right them take it in. Let them take it in. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let him breathe, breathe real quick. Yeah, let him do his thing. Hey, man, look, I'm I'm just grateful that you're here for one, but for two, I feel like they're gonna really get to consume, you know, who you are. Really, like I told you earlier, our main motive is to really filter out who you are what's your brand is all about right how can we see another perspective on filtering out our life's bs you know yeah. that's what the gas mask tribe is about absolutely so um but yeah we, you know we're going to bring out a couple of things i just want to expound on you know a little bit and uh just kind of chop it up and see you know how can we look at that in an inspirational form um, I was in Compton one day and I got pulled over by the LA, um, I'm sorry, Compton Sheriff's. And I had my cousins in the back and they're only about, they're under the age of 14. And, um, cops put us on his guns out, mm -hmm. ran up on the car, put me out, had, a, had us all out, whatever, we're kids. But until was I the reason? Him, was the reason? Did y'all get put over the reason? Was y'all well, doing shit at the window, doing something? I What's mastered the I mastered description of a guy who mm. robs. Oh, okay. you know, oh, really? Let me sure. In black, in black, dark skin male. No, we're looking for This is dark skin This is no lie. This is no lie. I am not lying. This is facts. They literally told me that you mastered description of someone who just robs them. So, because of that, I got, well, I got out of it because I told them that my grandfather is the superintendent of Compton at the time. He was superintendent. Okay. And that's what kind of like, oh, yeah. what? Oh, okay. Uh, we go, let you go. You yeah. know? Oh, they all got scared. Well, in a way, they did it in their way, yeah. piggish way. So, <laughs> Uh, she got a gun. <laughs> All right, cool. Get on, get so on. So Asia one. Brown no. yeah. <laughs> goes through the similar thing. Sorry. Asia Brown, which is the mayor of Compton, um, she goes through the similar thing, Miss Brown, and she was harassed. Uh, she did a press conference in Compton at City Hall, and uh, I thought it was very, very, very significant to my story because even though yes, I'm not a mayor, but. but I feel we always get racially profiled in an inspirational form. How would something like that, you would be able to kind of filter out and say, well, can we look at this in a, take this in an inspirational way to like, you know, how can you filter out something like that? That one's tough, honestly, because it, yeah. it's tough it's to filter out something like yeah. that because it's embedded in the foundation of the system that we're kind of all encaged in. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So it's tough to just be like, because it's definitely yeah. happened to me as well. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Where it's like coming home from work in my work clothes and being pulled over and being like guns out in Hollywood. Like, 
Oh, wow. Exactly what you said. You fit the description of someone we were looking for. And it's like... But you get no ticket. No ticket. No. no nothing. Oh, throwing up against that car. Throwing but up you, against, right, throwing but against you my go own car, though. Wow. Get handcuffed, and, and, all that yeah, shit. And yeah, checked and everything like that. So, if anything, it, it's tough to, to really just, again, brush that off. But yeah. also know that it's like, okay, this doesn't take away from who I am as an individual. And what they think of me or how they view me right. has nothing to do with who I am. You know what I mean? So, it's like I try to move past that. And just be like, thank the Almighty that I was able to walk away from that situation. And that's like trying to just find that that lining in the sky. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because a lot of times people get pulled over like that and they ain't walking away from that. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they, they got an attitude. They pissed off. Right. Yeah. For wrong right. reasons. Right. Yeah. But even more than that, like a lot of folks, either they are going to jail and they didn't do shit. Like yeah. homeboy, I was just watching... Um, what is it? Uh, America's Got Talent, Archie Williams. I don't know if you saw that. Man, 37 years locked up for a crime he did not commit. And the only way that they were able to get the, finally get him free, like get him out, was yeah. from his fingerprint. 37 yeah. years. 37 really? years of it this man's time. Right, right. Took him that long. And they right. had been from, fighting. From, from they a, had been I, fighting to get him to, to, to get him out because they knew all the charges were BS. So it's hard so to kind of so no fingerprints or nothing. He got locked up because he looked like something that possibly yeah. happened somewhere right. else. They just yeah. wanted to solve that's the crazy, case, and that's what they do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Find someone that fits the description. Yeah. They're like, ah, nobody will oh, care yeah. about yeah. this person, oh, yeah. and let's right. just lock them up. But then someone comes along. Luckily, yeah. And luckily, they walked them on Asia. <laughs> <laughs> and Asia was like, ah, uh, do yeah. you understand? Bitch, I am the mayor. Right? And they're like, uh, really? You are the mayor? Well, uh, do you got guns in the car? What? Do you what understand? I am the freaking mayor of the right. city. What is yeah. wrong with you? Yeah. So I say, like, in that moment, though, I'm definitely pissed off. How I'm can definitely I frustrated. That I'm definitely not going to be like, oh, all love, y'all, thank you. Hell. But it's also, like, walking away from it and still being here. Right. Still being on this side of the grass and being able to know. It's bittersweet. Yeah, it's it absolutely it's bittersweet. bittersweet. Yeah, exactly. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, but, but you know what? I just think that people can't handle it in that moment. Because it never works with the cops. They have the authorities. We want to talk back to them, but we can't. We, how can we be smart after the fact to get these cops like looked at well, I, or some type of thing to come up to make them, you know, to get written up or some shit like that? I mean, because I, we, it's just not fair to us, but we can't come back at that moment being the assholes. It's well, not work. When, if you if you're if you're the freaking mayor. Of a city, yeah, that's different. That's, that's a different. whole different. Yeah, no, yeah. Totally different you don't have, yeah, that's different though. An issue like a civilian. Yeah, no, yeah. Hell no, no, no. You know how many motherfuckers go through the same shit I go through? Yeah, a hundreds of us. But, but, I, but I'm saying you, for us, you, yeah. you. Yes. If we was the mayor of the freaking city, of that's, course, that's, I'd be like, oh yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I will. All you ninjas is fire. I want some, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know but what though? When, you, when you when you think about it though, bro, even as the mayor, it's obvious they didn't recognize her as a mayor. That's so, what I'm so, saying. So has she woman. bucked up too much, too hard, too long? Exactly. She yeah. might have been a. Dead mayor, right. exactly. Yes. See what I'm saying? Or beat down yes. mayor. Yes. You yes. see what I'm saying? Because if they didn't, I did. See, I'm the mayor. Well, do you got guns in the car? I'm the freaking mayor of Compton. I have a right to carry a gun if I want to. What? What are you? You know what I'm saying? She had to put an ID out. All well, that yeah. shit. See yeah. what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. Well, I have a video of a cop saying that uh, a female cop saying that black lady. She said that she has to keep her. Uh, Police car in her glove compartment. Yeah. Period. I she's it. nervous every time she gets pulled over. I've seen that video. And yeah. she's a freaking cop. And I sent it to y'all. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we watched, I watched yeah. it. Yeah. So those are the things I'm saying. Like, how can, and the brand of. But, but that's attached to being black, though, too, at the same time. No, but, but, that, wait, but that's wait, why wait, you got to yeah. carry your wait, card. Right, that's right. Why you got to carry it because even right, that one agent. Did you guys see that one video about the agent where two cops were trying to arrest him and he goes, you know I'm above y'all? Yeah, you guys yeah, see yeah, 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 yeah. They bamboozled him, they pushed uh -huh, him around, right, exactly. they did all that, and he was like, 
give me your badge card. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And He's everybody like, y'all know, fucked up. if you ask for the badge card, they got to give it to you. Yep. Yeah. It's a yep. badge card. If ever you need something, don't be like, what's your badge number? Ask he was for the like, badge uh, card. He was like, y'all some idiots. Oh, I didn't do that He's shit. He's like, the most card. idiot cops badge I ever card. seen. I'm going to tell people like that. Big tall ass. Badge card. Yeah, he was I saw that. I saw that, yeah. He was there drinking with his homie at the little club. He went in. Yeah, he went in. How can we filter that and only to look at that as on as a good thing and it's kind of hard and this is why like this is why i believe a platform like this it has to exist you know what i mean people has to know or have to know especially latinos you know what i mean yeah. people of color period have to know when they come across these things knowing that they're automatically going to come at you with some automatic they're going to come at come at you with some fire Right. Yeah. Because they already, um, my grandfather told me. He said, "Hey, man, always understand when they when they pull up on you, they already threatened. They're yeah, threatened, of course. So even though a lot of us are not taught that, you know what I mean. But it's just a few of the OGs, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like Phil, you know what I mean. That would say, "Hey, bro, you know what I mean. Make sure you keep your head up, talk straight, don't be stupid. Right. You know what I mean. Understand where you at." You could lose your life, you know what I mean? Put your hand on the steering wheel, throw your keys on the, you know what I mean? Have your stuff out. Make sure you understand all your stuff is there. You know what I mean? And yes, there are laws that apply to us that we don't have to, you know, like, uh, you don't got to roll your window all the way down. Fuck that. Them niggas are bust my window. I'm black, nigga. You know what, though? This is, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I've yeah. seen dudes done it. I've seen dudes done yeah, it. Like, no. don't right. roll their window all the way down, and oh, no, they, they'll I, give the cop shit. Not so, no LAPD. I get, Not every time I get pulled over because the car that I'm in has all, the, the windows are tinted. The back ones are, like, oh, yeah, limo tint, and then ticket. the front oh, ones are, like, down. extra tint. Like, it ain't enough for them to give me a ticket, Oh, okay. But it's tinted enough for where the, they pull over, well, and every yeah. time they don't even walk up, they're like roll all the windows down, please. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So then all the windows is down, right. and they making sure like, okay, right. ain't nobody else in the car, right? And you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so, and I understand that. that fear. Yeah, right. yeah. I understand yeah. That but it's fear. that's what it is. Fear. Yeah. They, exactly. they yes. are so they go into this job so afraid. You know what I mean? And it and it comes back to folks is talking about like defunding the police and everything, and see with that. It comes back to like programs for these officers to realize like really though it takes longer to become an esthetician than it does to become a police right, officer there's something right, wrong with that right, right there right. much right. respect you know because honestly i i know folks that are police officers and it's like much respect to them for what they do but also these cats most of them don't get paid shit Yep. And they put in their life on the line. Some of them now well, start off here forty thousand. Well, no, $40, no, they don't. No, they don't, bro. What? Police officers start out about seventy thousand a year. What? Yeah. 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 They start, they start out, out LA shit yeah. though. I guess they start out about seventy thousand yeah. a year. That's fine. And, and they, but, but again, you got to remember something. You got a lot of police officers that have small man complex. Yeah. Exactly. These are people that was bullied in school. Yes, those are oh, the ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, people that's, yeah. that's, no, that's mad no, because exactly. the, the, the military rejected <laughs> them. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you're talking they about... Little, they got little dicks. Well, I don't know about that part. I'm saying. I'm just saying. The only way I say he said small man Zone. complex. All you know, dudes so. got little dicks and shit. And they can't bang. No one falls. No one falls. Yeah, no, I, was, I, I didn't realize that they started at 70. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was 45. Yeah. I, I yeah. 40, yeah. When you, when you like, um, before they put you in the field, it's about 40, 45, 50. Okay. Before they but put you in the field. in the field, it's 70? Yeah. yeah. Um, but you got to remember, and, and I say this to people, and, and, and I'm known for it, where I used to be. I knew my rights. Police pulled me up. I'm talking mad shit. I'm not getting yeah. out with you, especially if I'm right, if I'm, if I'm in the right. But here's the thing. Comply. Instead of having your shit in your glove compartment, have it on your sun visor. Flip yeah. it down. There's your insurance card. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they are scared and they are conditioned to be afraid. They are conditioned mm -hmm. to say it's them versus us. It's blue against whatever is out there. Yeah. And so when, with that fear, and then they're taught to shoot to kill. They're not taught to shoot to maim, shoot yeah. to wound. They're taught to shoot That's to true. kill. You know what? To add to that, I, I, I heard a great statement. Someone said that cops are not crime fighters. Yeah, no, they I heard come that after too. the crime is done. Exactly. Yeah, because that's what they're really they're they're, 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 like they're supposed to, to police the yeah the community. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They either try to get there before to prevent, but they're not policing because the communities continue to grow. 
so they come after. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The police officers don't even come around until it's a crime. They're supposed to be patrolling, but honestly speaking, when you're talking about 10,000 neighborhoods. Right, but that thing said we come after. Yeah. What? You come after? Oh, yeah, no, they Nigga. do. They do. I mean, listen. What, what can, Wait, can but why should I be there if it ain't no crime? Is going to. Yeah. Ain't no yeah. crime. Why Let should I be there? I called the cops, and it took them an hour to get there, and guess what? The cop, the police station was right there in the same parking lot. I'm gonna say it again. The police station was right there in the same parking lot, and they open fired, almost shot my mom. She dropped to the ground, and I was hot. So I called wow. the cops because they almost yeah. killed my mom, and I said, "Hey, man, come get them." In the same parking lot, and we were stuck there because I had my car inside the shop. Yeah. So I had to just sit there and watch this shit. And so yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Damn. Filter it out. Filter this shit out. And as an inspirational, motivational speaker, how can we stay motivated to keep moving? To not, you know what I mean? Find ourselves in these weird predicaments in our, you know what I mean? Lives. I say again, like your point, before it even comes to filtering it out, definitely comply and go along with, you know what I mean? Like, there ain't no reason. Safety first, but Before you even get there, already know in yourself, like, I got to be peace right now mm -hmm. because I'm not going to win this fight. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I'm not going to win this, this fight exactly. right now. You know what I mean? Like, and even if I do eight more, 10 more, 15 more, 20 more, the tank's going to pull up. Right. You know what I mean? So it's right. like, there's no exactly. reason for me. You, you, you got to pick your battles and there's no reason yeah. for me right now to try to go to war with this man, exactly. especially when he's in the wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. So just knowing to yourself, like I said, like I'm better than what he's trying to portray me as. Right. I'm bigger Roger. than who he yes. thinks that I am. Right. I am greater but at than the way moment, he sees me. No, but, the, but, but, but at again, this moment, but at this, this moment, nigga got that pistol. But at this, at this moment, though, and remember, the, the moment, <laughs> of course, the moment of course, is, is, is the moment's right now. And now, now that's the past. And now we're moving towards the future. Because right, then yeah. you can jeopardize yourself and lose your future exactly. by acting in the moment. It's like, it was right. why, that's, exactly. And that's 100% exactly. why, that's why, that's why, that's that's why we have deaths right now. Hey, we fell to out that BS, people. Yeah. yeah. But, but Asia, you should call us, Miss Miss Brown. But just to, just to piggyback what he tried to say, that's why we have a lot of murders right now of innocent people dying. Like, I saw when George Floyd got locked up. And I saw some, some, some body cam thing they just released recently. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I they, saw they, that too. Yeah, they yeah. released recently, and he was saying stuff like, "Oh, hey, I got, I get panic attacks. I can't take back seats and, and stuff like yeah, that." Yeah, and he gets like, a, he can't be in closed places, closed, closed places yeah. and stuff like that. But at the same time, so as they kind of knew this shit. Well, they knew what's going on. So I mean, I'm, I'm not taking sides to the police officers. When I, you got to comply and just do your job. If you've been locked up before, or you understand what we're going through, you know how to play it. You know how yeah. to say, "I, right, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna go with the flow." out the situation he was being super hyper he was doing extra at the same time to try to lock him up now, i can't breathe hold on now hold on now wait 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 you can't tell a cop that but right they think, they think you plotting some shit right they think you plotting some shit you trying to come up with some shit you try to get away run away or pop him to hit somebody in the face whatever the case may be and then long story short we get the version of him being with a knee on his neck which i don't think is right i'm not condoning right, that right i'm not condoning that at all but it's at the same time, how could it get to that level if you would have complied like y'all talk about? You know well, you know what? I, 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 let's say I saw that same comply. video. Let's say he did comply. So just, just please. And they just like, I don't, they think, just I, I don't think so go that far. No, no, I don't think so go that far. No, nigga. No. No. no wait, wait, people, wait, 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 wait. Go that Listen, far. though. I, 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 I'm with Zoe on that. When they was trying to put him in that back seat, bro. Yeah. Had he got in that back seat? He'd have got the door of the clothes that had transported, transported him to the police station. Look, yeah. Or let him go. But or whatever there are some cats that have complied and still have gotten murdered. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that. I think if they halfway complied, they're still assholes. I mean, I know of guys that was running away and got murdered. Okay, I don't know different. of guys that's, that, that's not complying either. Yeah, that, no, you know what I'm saying? That's and if different. you shot him in the back, you're still wrong. Exactly. You know, Floyd's like death Atlanta. was wrong. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, bro, I'd have been in and out of, in out of the back of a police car probably 10,000 times. You know what I'm saying? Was Eric Garner? Was that? 
Remind me of what, what did he do? I see. I don't know the no, name. He, I know he the. Was, uh, wasn't that he the one complied. That was, yeah, and the one that was in the car. And they the one in the chokehold. They gave He's him the death penalty. Okay, okay, selling the okay, okay, okay. That's the. Oh, you know the one seven selling the cigarettes? Yeah, he was selling Com the cigarettes to kids. Bro, he did not comply, bro. Com you know what comply is, you man? You saw another video. He was he struggling. Had, bro. He, he was No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Bro. The video you talking about. They had cuffs on him. But wait a minute. The listen, video listen, you listen, talking listen. about, when they told him, turn around, put your hands behind your back, he argued until they got him on the ground. Exactly. By that time, bro, listen. By that time, bro, I don't know if you've ever been on a, a real drive-by. Right. Ain't no turning me off. Right. If you look like yeah, you yeah. appear to be, yeah. we own one. Yeah. So now I'm imagining these police officers drilling and rolling. A lot of dudes are playing dub C doing drive-bys. Exactly. When you got a motherfucking white man in the South running around with an AK-47 swinging that. And I get that. Come on, I'm man. Not cool. I'm, not, I'm not cool with that. I'm not I justifying that. that. I'm not but justifying listen, that, I'm not though. justifying. Listen, bro. Yeah. First of all, we got 99 fucking things against us in the black and brown community. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Man, freeze. Okay. Put your hands up. Okay. Turn around. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Turn around yeah. for what? I ain't did nothing. Boom. You're not complying, exactly. bro. Exactly. Exactly. You're not complying. No. Yeah. That's not complying. Listen, man. Like yeah. I said, for me, I've been there. I've been pointing gun. Shoot. I don't give a fuck. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was young, dumb, and stupid. At 52, put your hands up. Shit, these motherfuckers gonna touch the sky. <laughs> As, uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I've been through both sides, we though, man. I, I, I've been through both sides. When I was an asshole to the cop, the fact he was cool, he understood my psyche of why I'm getting pulled over. He like, hey, my dude, yo, calm down, my dude. I'm with you. Just give me your license, fit a description. We cool. You know what I'm saying? We get out of here, we hand our business, you go okay. I right, I'm gonna you talk to you later. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fit the description. No, yeah. Well, whatever case may be, you, I pulled you up because I got a phone call, whatever case may be. But I'm not that could be a cool white person, that could be a cool black person, Latino person. If they understand your situation, they're gonna break it down. But we don't have that choice hey, you, as being you, black and brown to get pulled over like that. Do you that, know though. how simple it is for do you know if you're driving and smoking a cigarette, they can pull you over, bro? Yeah. If you're driving and eating, or driving and drinking, a soda pop, they can yeah. pull you over. You're not well, supposed course, to do supposed none to of that. that. Even if you have the little light you see on what the middle. Hey, yeah. well, yeah. shit, I've been getting away no, with no. murder. You know what that's what I'm saying, though. I've been no. driving with my shirt off, nigga. I've been no. riding around, <laughs> like, stupid. feet hanging I'll out the yeah, window. Nigga, I'm south central <laughs> like a mother, nigga. No, I'm, I'm just, so south central. Listen, man. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, if you want someone that complied, I forgot his first name. His last name is Ramos. But what ended up happening is that we had a Karen. That called and said, hey, I saw him pointing a gun at his girl. Right. And what it was that they were just having, you know, a little altercation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they went ahead. They pulled up on him. They said, get out the car. Put your hands up. Turn around. He lifted up his shirt. Turned around. Had nothing. And they shot him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I seen that one. Really? I, I seen that one. Really? When was this? One? And I seen, I seen. Yeah, 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 it was like last oh, week. Oh, Breonna Taylor. I seen another one of 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 a black dude no, who Breonna. was in his car, and um, somebody said he had a gun. He got out the car. He put his hands up. He complied. Yeah. And he lifted his shirt up. Turned I, I, all the way around. That's the same one. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you what his mistake was. Me being a civilian looking at it, he came off from around his car door. Then he went behind but he went it again. Went back behind his car door. Because he thought that he was gonna get shot and got scared and did that. Exactly. Out of fear. He was terrified. Wow. Wow. You see what I'm saying? See, man. I can see and, that. And boom. Boom. People boom. Boom. I can see that. Him and then I can see that. This, I can so see that. you know yeah. what? You know what? This I can see that. This concludes this, people. That tells me fear can have this you know how magnets when they're like negative and right? they go apart yeah you that's got me because they're that's scared what of us fear we is. scared of them yeah so they trying to do the what they taught but at the same time guess what we ain't taught that's the problem we're not taught it, it, how to deal with these it, situations they go to camp they go to boot camps and stuff yeah. for this we no, don't. No, but, but honestly it's fear not just fear it's fear then we're black, yo, or we're colored. But it's also it's, it's, it's also the, time, the things that people say. Like my my my, my little uh, man. I know so many people. They would yeah. be driving down the street, kids be acting. You better sit down, there, the police. Mm -hmm. That's instilling fear. That's a conditioning yeah. from you, a child. Yes, from jump. That's fear. My, yeah. Hey, my grandma used to do it to me. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Now, Everybody now, now, now I have one shit. little cousin. That's the opposite. Yeah. Me, me and my cousin, my road dog, we driving right. Police pull us over. 
you know, police, that was real cool. That was, you know, blase, blase, your words. You know? <laughs> That's a famous you know? word. And uh, <laughs> so when the police walked away and let us go, my, my cousin's son, five years old, was like, Daddy, why y'all didn't shoot him? Mm-mm. See, he had no fear. Yeah, why you didn't but, shoot but, 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 Wait, wait, hold on. Parents. <laughs> because. Puppy no, listen to me. He said, why because this five-year-old, I'm telling you some true stuff. This was like 20-some years ago. Oh, man. This five-year-old was around us. We mm. are gun fanatics. Yeah. Wow. So we he knows carry guns. So he knows. Wow. And we, you know, when your kid hear you talking, he's like, yeah, because I, I do this and I do that and I do that. Your kid they like, ooh, you. my dad is tough. Yeah. So when the police walked away, he's like, Dad, why you didn't shoot him? You know, I started laughing. He looked at me, he said, Uncle Phil, because my, all my little cousins call me Uncle, Uncle Phil, no, y'all should have shot him. Y'all got guns. He ain't knowing in our head, we got guns. We glad they're letting us go. Exactly. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But it's the condition. This stuff starts as kids in the black and brown community. Wow. Yeah, we're cho- we're, it's conditioning, we're cho- but yeah, it's, it's conditioning, but we right, teach right. it to them. That, that's you know conditioning. That? That's yeah. what conditioning so, is. Yeah. So you know. So people, please understand that uh, we have to watch our mood and watch our, you know, how we're conducting ourselves when we run into. Situations, even if it's not a cop, even teach if it's your somebody. children to comply, man. Please stop yeah. arguing. I, you know what? We Listen, gotta be the bigger person. Here's the and thing, man. To be the bigger gangster. If a dude I mean? walked in this room with a gun, mm-hmm. ain't none of us gonna argue with him about what he's nope. thinking he' about to do. Yeah, absolutely not. I'm gonna ask that nigga what type of shoes he wear. Because you shouldn't be. W- <laughs> and I'm telling y'all right yeah, now, right. you should be wearing yeah, those right. type. Of, you should be wearing some tap shoes. He, he, he definitely, he definitely. And, and, and I'm not taking one for the team. I'm not taking one for the team. But here's my point: <laughs> if we're not gonna ask a criminal, mm-hmm. got got us at gunpoint, right. who right. has no right to kill at all, right? Mm-hmm. No, right. Why the hell are we questioning the police officers who have all the rights to kill? Uh, exactly. That's big facts right there. Wait, if you if he violated you, man, live to tell the story so you can go file a police report. I mean, not exactly. a police report, but yeah, like an incident a, a report on a, on a police officer. Yeah. Because the more the more of those that go in the file, mm-hmm. bro, that prevents them from getting bumps up. That yeah. prevents them from getting uh, you know, what's it, when they go from a regular to a senior and all that stuff. It prevents no them. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Right, right. The dudes out of Venice, Venice show lines. Bro, they, they community, I'm talking about gang members. Their community was so tight net. They had police officers that was a holes. I mean, they'd get together and go straight to the police station and get it removed out of their community, bro. That's that is beautiful. And these were gang members. But that's, that's about beautiful. being smart. That's about exactly. being smart about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So white we shit. all have that to do. But you know what we do? Something happened to us. I come in like, hey, 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 man. You know, police pulled me over. Ooh, man, I thought they was going to kill me. And we laugh. Ha, 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 ha. And we go on. Yeah. None of us go to the police station like, look, I want to file a police report on these police officers that pulled me over. Right. You know what I'm saying? They well, did this. Well, you know why? This. Because we're also taught not to be a rat either. So everybody thinks that they might. Nah, I, I, up, no, but standing up for themselves is being a rat. We gotta realize. Telling on the police ain't being a rat, y'all. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Between but, but, being a rat and doing what's right. I don't think yeah. people think that though. Being no, a rat, but they, they just don't have time. They man, fuck it. They don't even think about I'm gonna go and be a white person. White people do it all the time. Niggas like nah, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's the effort of the going problem. to do it. Do it's it not snitching though. It's not no. snitching. No, but I'm saying that's the way people look at it. Not nah, just like nah, you said nah. though. It's also effort. So yeah. it's snitching, yeah. effort, all the above. Nah. If they see you walking in there, like even if gang members see you walking in there, they're gonna say, "Hey man, what was he doing in there? We can't trust him." Okay, that's different though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I see, I grew up around gangs. I didn't grow up around regular people. So the way we be thinking is like, "Oh, what they doing at the police station? What they doing?" Like we question yeah, yeah. that kind of thing because we go, "Hey." We can't have this person over at our house with all the guns. She gonna bang on your punk ass, niggas. You no, gonna I'm run up on you know. me. This, this yeah. is how I was raised. Gangsta. Like, you yeah. see someone come out the police station, you don't trust them. You don't trust them no more. Well, well uh, but that, but uh, that, that, uh, uh, for what you saying is true. If you live in the hood and you doing some bullshit, well, uh, but a regular black. <laughs> A regular black brown person. <laughs> in the middle of the hood, it's cool. I right, nigga, no, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But if you're a regular black brown person, they get pulled over for no fucking reason. All right, the smart thing to do is go report these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But not people think like that. I right, fuck it. It happens to us all the time. We just accept it. 
Right. But, accept it. And that's right. the you know problem because if we're gonna, if people are gonna keep complaining, I yeah. don't want to hear you complain unless you walk into that police station and start doing something about it. Yeah. And that's what the problem is. Everybody want to complain, but yeah. nobody want to step up. Always sign the petition. No, walk your butt up in there. If all of us did our part, things might be different. I say might. And, might and, be and, different. and you know what? At, Boom! at the same time, <laughs> but, but, I agree. <laughs> I mean, I agree. Uh, Deep Floor, what you think? I think you're absolutely right because it, that's with anything in life too. It's yeah. like, cool, you could talk about it all day, but until you follow through with action, exactly. ain't nothing gonna happen. And especially right. when it comes to inner city communities, like we have the power to actually make something happen if we put forth the effort and the energy. Now, mm -hmm. I understand though, a lot of folks don't want to make those moves because again, oh man, I just got off of work, man. I, I ain't got to, I ain't got, I gotta go make dinner or I gotta go pick this up for the exactly. wifey or I gotta I got do this or I gotta it, do that. It's exactly. all about us prioritizing what we're gonna what? do with exactly. our time because we all only got the same 24 hours. So it's like, but if we can make time for that, yep. then maybe little Johnny down the street or little whoever ain't yep. gonna have to deal with the same bullshit exactly. that we had well, to go through. Not only that, let's treat it like voting. Right. You make time to vote, right? Make time yeah. to walk. Not everybody. The that's station. the problem. Uh, but there are people in line right now. Well, so, yeah, not everybody yeah. going to the police station either. So it's the same thing. Come on, let's let's get it together. We gotta okay. vote and go to the police. Hey, everybody, vote and go to the police station. Got that? Listen, man. <laughs> so I want to. Uh, you want to say something? No, 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 no. Go ahead. I was gonna agree with Charlotte. Um. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about Black is King. I okay. want to know. You saw it? Yeah. I saw it. Okay. So yeah, this, this is. I seen hmm? it. Yeah, this one. Nobody saw yeah, it? It's on Disney? Yeah, it's on, it's it's on, on Disney, Disney Plus. Nobody I have a kid. Come on now. <laughs> Makes sense. Yo, I'm going to have to turn my it? Disney channel I've on. Seen it. I have okay, a kid. so okay, so these are my three points that I thought was okay. crazy. All okay. right. I thought the black art was rebelism, which is good. You know what I mean? I think it was like very you know, black art, you know. And we're talking about the Blackest King by Beyonce. And this is the biz, what I thought of it, right? <laughs> and I feel that the black art was rebelism, but the film was dark as shit. You know what I mean? And Was it dark is, for a reason, though? It was just say, like 50-50, it... because there was like some heavenly moments in where you see Beyonce is like, uh, Beyonce, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but there were some other moments where other people would play these dark moments. J.C. Reyes, she was playing this part. You know what? I, 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 no, I, 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 I think what it is is that like Hold she's on. trying to show all aspects. The dark and okay. the light. But the music was banging. That's my last. Well, that was the, the music was right banging. Music was banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, so, so was that musical or actual film? With it was, the music a, in it? It was a, a visual. Album. Yeah, she she mm. tra she traveled all over the world. Got it. And she did. That. They said yeah. it was like sixty something different outfits that she did. She had her daughter come in on it. She she had all these people coming That's in so on it. So fucking incredible. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. So it was a visual album. Okay. Is what it was. I watch this. It was dope. I gotta watch it. Was it. Dope. it was dope. No, it was just. Yeah, it was see, look, I, I hear, I hear all y'all saying, "I gotta watch this." I gotta. Watch. I'm like, so that shit sound like it's bored as fuck. Ain't no nobody getting shot. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. What's thriller? Deep, what's blowing? I know what's you thriller? feel me, bro. I'm like, damn, ain't no action. <laughs> what's thriller? What's thriller? What's thriller boring? Thriller? Mike Jackson thriller? Was that boring? No, nah, that was cool. Okay, exactly. Uh, that was cool. That was cool. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm like, I'm waiting for you to be like, oh yeah. Then somebody came out. They started shooting, and you know, I'm like, you know damn. You, 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 if it was Snoop Dogg, you'd watch it. But because yep. it's Beyonce, you're like, hold on. But Beyonce is good, so I'm gonna watch I, it. Look, it's I, good. I, I mean, I like to me, I'm, Zoe, you, you seen it? No, nah, I haven't seen it. No, I won't see it. Oh, shit. No, only but, see, only see this is my claws. I would have a lot of say. Kirk Watts says, What's good? Uh, Good evening, everyone. What up, what up, Kurt hey, Watts? Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Watts. Yo. Shout out, yo, yo, shout, yo, yo. A shout out to that brother. If y'all want to buy a house, that's your man right there. Contractor, hey, all that good I, stuff. I need to. I'm well, out to Kurt. Hey, I need to. I'll get you his oh, number. Man. Kurt Watts. So, I need some sure enough. This okay. is what, now, now I was talking to Zoe on the phone. <laughs> Don't hit him, deep boy. He's talking <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm about to hit you with this <laughs> bottle. <laughs> <laughs> And the cold thing, I'm going to say, Kurt, what, ahead, Kurt, what they don't Kurt, know is yeah. Compton got some uh, huge, know. big, million-dollar houses, bro. No, I know, I know. I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? And then across I, the streets I, I'd rather house, be with my... <laughs> exactly. I'd rather... I ain't fucking <laughs> with you comedians tonight. As you were saying, so, I mean, uh, biz. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the... The, I, I feel to conclude the film, to conclude the film, I feel the film was Beyonce, but in Salon's attire. Mm. So no, you can't. You know what? Fuck! No, I do. You my, you my nigga.
nigga. You my nigga. Check hey, this you, out. You are my nigga. You are my nigga. It was Solange. Boom. That's no, exactly you know what it is? Do you, do you no. understand? Beyonce's Beyonce. Wait a minute. Wait a that? minute. What? Solange, what? She, she's Solange Beyonce because she got on, 300 million? Solange has been on some other tip deep. For once, Beyonce's finally dipping into something even deeper. And if it kind of came off that she's being like Solange, well, they sisters. Come on now. They got that uh, little boom, thing boom, going. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, they blood. Sus. Do they what blood. I'm doing. Sus. You know what? Solange probably gave her the the idea to do it. Like, That's hey, what? hey, hey you know what's crazy? It's so funny. I didn't even know Beyonce had a sister. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not Damn. a music man. That, that's not well, my... Well, she had a sister. Solange was a she sister. She had a sister. She, no, had. she still have a sister. She still have a sister. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry, people. I'm What's so, in this cup? What's in this so cup? Sorry. I told you something. I, 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 I told you. Hey, you like you don't drink. I'm, glad, I'm glad I don't drink right now. Wow. <laughs> See, I learned wow. so much about music because y'all here. I know Jack Look, Diddley about these Solange, folks. Look, Solange is currently and is still will ever be and forever Beyonce's younger sister. All right, so let's establish that. I messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> but the the main point is, I feel that that Beyonce. Okay, I feel Beyonce was our yeah. No, our Britney Spears. Oh, what the hell fuck? No. What the fuck, bro? I hey, this? hey, Zobis yeah. sitting next to you too long. He rubbing off on you. Hold on, what? Hey, hold on, yeah, stop, you know stop, why? Stop, stop, stop. You know I why? Say, I say Because who okay. is who is you black? Who is yeah, black? Yeah. We're check. check. Aaliyah, Aaliyah. Watch this. Watch this. Aaliyah. Watch no. me. Watch me. Watch me. No. I got a bad feeling about Watch this. Me. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. We both. Oh my God, bro. Look, Beyonce. I gotta hear that. When. Is our well before because now she took the lounge world now. You know what I mean? But I feel she was our like fish. Who what was white fuck? that was big as Britney Spears? Okay, all right, black. Who, who was black? Who was who, white? Okay, I, who was I, white? I, I, I was big. That's I, I'm a, big. Uh, as wait Beyonce. a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. No, you know what the problem is? You didn't get past the, I, like. I, no, What's you wrong? didn't get past First like the all, early th- 2000s, 90s. Yes. Honestly, she's There's more no like fight. a Diana Ross of our generation. No. Diana I'm Ross was really big that. back in the day. I'm not yeah, saying yeah, that. I'm and saying she was. No. Well, also, to Aaliyah. 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 No, well, we not see Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Oh, wait, wait, can I, can I ask y'all a question? Can I ask y'all one question? Is she a better singer than she is a performer? Which no. one is better, her performance or her singing? Both. She's great. She's both. I've seen it, but. I got okay. two left feet, so the I wouldn't know. Is Vocally, that's why I was saying it's more sure. like a Diana Ross of our generation. No, I missed that. Ooh, dancing, right it's more like a Leah of our what dancing generation. So if you put Diana Ross like and that. Aaliyah together, we got Beyonce. Mind y'all, people, we have comedians that's talking about in- Hold on. musicians. First of all, we have Michael Jackson. Wait a minute. What's the dumbest of all time, bro? I'm going to prove my point. Go I'm gonna prove my point. Then we gotta jump Michael, in. Okay, we, we talking about Michael the lip singer. Go ahead. We talking about lip singing. Go I'm ahead. gonna prove my point. The reason why I said that is because Beyonce is our pop star. She's our black pop star. Pretty who? The Beyonce. Beyonce. She's our pop black. Star? Right. Okay. There's no. There's no. There's no white. At this time, when there was coming up, there was only Beyonce. Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera that was running things, right? Okay. Christina oh. Aguilera fell off. <laughs> uh, Britney Spears went crazy. And okay. then Beyonce took on the role of Shakira. And then she just kind of, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, I'm talking, like, you got to watch the segments, people. Y'all got to watch. She's a freaking black urban pop star, bro. She's a pop star. Yeah. She's So when she take on the role of Solange, she now becomes this black art, you know, gallery type of museum. Like it was the, the film was dope. I'm don't don't get me wrong. The film was fire. I just felt like it was dark and she took on the role of Solange. But was there any explosions? There were no explosions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the fireworks. Because <laughs> when he did like this, I thought he was gonna go boom 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 right, boom. Right. <laughs> there, 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 there were a few explosions, but the music was fire. Beyonce always been on fire. She always been on fire. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm just, uh, I only made that comparison to 
kind of get you to understand how big. Don't think Britney Spears. Oh, geez, oh, oh, hell no. She can't Man. sing. She, bro. No, 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 Britney, Britney Spears, Spears was the biggest freaking thing since freaking in the 90s. Yeah, girl, bro. No. She was not. In the 2000s, too, nigga. Bro, bro, Britney Spears is a in the early, yeah, early She wasn't doing Britney. She wasn't doing. Bro, she, was, I, she wasn't doing Beyonce bro. shit, yo. No. In the, bro, she wasn't doing Beyonce bro. shit. Beyonce. So 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 uh, are, are, are we gonna debate this? Are we gonna get into some of some some deploy stuff, man? Yeah. Y'all yeah, gonna forget yeah. about deploy in a minute. No, we're not. No, we're not. Me and deploy for gonna get us something to eat. All I'm saying. <laughs> I'm about to come with yeah, you. We, we, <laughs> we talking about pop stars and shit. They're like, man, we're done with these pop stars. All I'm saying Her, it was like, a good film. She fought Jay Z. People go watch the film. You can have your own. <laughs> she fought Jay Z. Hey, hey, <laughs> so all you gangsters, she fought Jay Z. That's what I was about. Good point, man. Good okay. point. Yeah, that's yeah, all you need to know. Beyonce and her sister. Yeah, <laughs> they so the elevator. Yeah, she whooped that ass too. Exactly. And that was oh, that was. I, I don't you know, know. Anyway, that's that's their you know that's their shit, and I feel like that's you know that's a good thing for Beyonce and Solange. I think. It's so good future that. reference, you know what you should do if you're gonna do something like that, you should announce it on the show before for that's people to watch it. And then everybody can watch it, and then you talk about it, right? Because those of us who have it, yeah, I'm, no, no, I'm, yeah, I'm lost. That's it. why I'm just, I'm no, listening. We, we, I'm we, learning we, we, right we, we, now. I'm just listening. Seen it. None of them you seen never it. seen a film? I ain't seen it. No, oh, man. man no, like three of us ain't seen it. Yeah, it's three of us that ain't seen it. But I know it's Beyonce. She gonna put nothing but dope shit up. No, no, but look, right, right. I saw her concert. Her concert was crazy. Yeah, I see. But the reason why I suggested that is because we did that before. Yeah. And, and and the audience yeah, that I went will. and they watched it because we promoted the whole week before the show. And when the show came on, it was like 80 people on who watched that show. I was protesting, telling Netflix they need to pay us. But people watched <laughs> that show, bro. And it was a good dialogue because I'm lost. But, uh, I, you know, all I remember is. Beyonce get the dance. I just look at the booty. You know what so, I'm saying? Okay, so. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was definitely. Some booty shaking. It was definitely <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> she made weird look good. It we'll just say that. She made is that weird what she did? look good. You know what it is though is that she was wearing like different and outfits from different a, places, and right. she was doing an art. And one thing about art, it's not for everybody. Right. So some people gonna like it. Some people not gonna like it. Some people, right. you know. But so. she got also mm -hmm. just, just come against everything and just go for it too right. at the same time. You, you so so art. let's let's bring this around mm -hmm. to 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 why I'm here. So you yes. said that's art, right? It's art. So some yeah. people ain't gonna like it. Exactly. Right. And so each and every one of us is an artist, even if you don't sing or no. if you don't yeah. draw or Whatever if you don't. Every, every person, yes. every person is an artist, and your yeah. life is the canvas that you draw in yes. what right. you are here to create. Well, you know what I mean? So yeah. we're gonna bring it back to what I'm here for, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. yeah, thank you. So we work together. I like that alley oop right there. You know what I'm saying? So you know what he you know what he's saying, right? Get off of her and get on me, man. Wait, wait, wait. Not no homo. You have to see the film. Oh, no, I'm you definitely gonna check it. No, for sure, for sure. So you can make that judgment. You have to see how much the they paying you, bro. They pay me uh, uh, a lot of money for that. You no, know what? Biz, no, Biz, Biz, I just I, like Biz, it a lot. Anyway, no, I'll definitely check it. I tell you, the problem is sometimes you come from an artist, I would have did this. Not understanding everybody else is an artist. Can't say I'm an artist. I would have did this. I'm no, just different. no, I'm saying that's that, that perfectionist though. That's like, why. That, that's right. why yeah, right. right. See yeah. the film right. exactly. because it applies to you. That's what I'm saying. When you see it, you'll see what I'm saying. Yeah. That, see, see, it don't apply to to, to Zoe right, and Charlotte right, and me. Right. Because right. we just don't count. No, because we just regular niggas. Yeah, right. we just regular folks. <laughs> 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 hey, me, 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 me and Zoe can make a joke. We can make that as far as we can go. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. So you were talking about the work of art. Let's go. The work of art. The work of art. No, just for real, though. Like, because each of us is an artist. And so, like, we talk about, you know, like, you reposted one of the videos that I did about uh, about being lost. Yeah, like, I, mm -hmm. It wasn't until I was lost that I found myself. Right. And that's just real talk because a lot of times we have to go through these trials and tribulations of our life to be able to realize who we are. You know, I was exactly. talking to one of my partners earlier and it's like, it's like going to the gym. Like you ain't going to get, you ain't going to get bigger if you ain't putting up extra weight and mm -hmm. pushing against that resistance. Besides mm -hmm. gravity trying to pull you down, it's that resistance yes. trying to pull you down as well. So you put them two plates on there you won't get you won't get stronger.
And if you want to get stronger than that, you're going to add a quarter or another plate to it, and you're going to keep building up to it. And that's the same way with resistance in life. Right. Any adversities exactly. that we face, anything that happens to us is going to make us stronger. Now, some people can crumble under it. Right. But, again, them's the artist who ain't going to look at that canvas and use the paint that they've been given. Right to draw something fucking magical with it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just going to be like, ah, I'm not going to do nothing today. Out that yeah. book. I'm not going to do nothing today. I, I, I like that, bro. Back to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Oh, we started well, no, uh, just to comment on it, I want to stay on that real fast. Just one second. Um, you made a good point about your muscles. You got to lift weights. Just like life, you got to work that out. Lift man's muscles. No, stop. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, okay, I'm not going to comment on that. I got what you're saying. <laughs> He's like, I got what you say. No, I ain't gonna comment on that. He's trying to, he trying to do joke ball right now. But I got this whole thing I live by in life myself, okay? Exercise your mind and your muscle and supersize your, mu your hustle, okay? So the same thing, if nice. you're trying to get in the gym, you do have to work out. Exercise your mind to elevate it to the next level, to even think better or feel better through different situations and shit. Right. So I feel what you're trying to say, the thing you, you, you gave and shit like that. My question is to you, how can we get this to the youth? To understand that process, because as adults or early adults, we understand that process to get through it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I I think for something like that, it's time for us to start taking those roles up. We okay. have to start being those mentors then, and yeah. not expect them to just show up. Maybe we need to go and speak at a school. Yes. Maybe we need right. to go and that start part. going to do outreach programs to help kids instead of just being like, oh, well they gonna figure it out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Obviously, we have that power, and yeah. like we talked about time yeah. earlier, yeah. what what's important to you? Yeah, you know what I mean. Because it's like, what's the old saying um, about planting a tree that you never get to see, like you never get to sit under, sit under the shade yeah. of it. Yeah. You know what I mean. And that's what we got to do, especially as minorities. Yeah, I mean, just as humans in general. Yeah. All right, because right. the planet, it's like you think about the shit. We could be gone, and the planet ain't gonna care. Because 99.9% right. .9 exactly. of everything that ever lived on this earth is not here anymore. Wow. Right. You know what I mean? Like facts, yeah. facts like facts. for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like yeah. if we could do something, though, while we're here with our time and be able to have a positive impact and uplift the youth yeah. and share something with them and share our stories with them, because each one of us has a story to tell. Exactly. Absolutely. Every one of Absolutely. us is yeah. writing a we, we are a book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's no greater wealth of knowledge than the, what's in between the pages of a book. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so that's each and every one of us. So if yeah. we could go out there and help them and teach them, and that's why I started doing them daily reminders. Because it's and like, I'm yo. I'm glad that you did that. Because honestly, we dropped the ball. Remember when we were kids, we had dare. We had gangsters come to our, our school, and we had the auditorium saying, hey, man, this is what we went through. They did plays. Have you, you know what, I have a son like, right. they don't even do the plays no more right. that I know of. They don't do dare anymore. We actually had cops come and talk to us to where we wouldn't super fear them, but we dropped the ball. Now well, we it's also, I think people. now it, it's gone away from, they started limiting us from using our imagination. That's what, exactly. Right, and it's you social I mean? media exactly. now. It's social, social media, media. Yeah. yeah. And so it's, it, it, it's all about that yeah. that snippet of sensationalism. That you know moment, what I mean? Yeah. It's like yeah. we, we now have the attention span of less than a goldfish. Goldfish is nine seconds, ours is eight seconds. We like Dory. So, yeah, squirrel. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like, and, and, and it's, it's, it's not easy for us to forget yeah. about that's, that's what's definitely going, my mindset. About yes. what's yeah. going on, or you know what I mean, about yeah. the significance that we have right. in other people's lives, especially in the youth. You know, exactly. So. And going on with that, like one thing I see, and I saw that you put your first post on July 13, 2018, and you said somebody told you to go ahead and do that. Before I let you comment on that, I was gonna say, you know what? I really noticed one thing that you do that a lot of people don't do on their posts. You actually write down every single word that you say on that wow, post really? so people can read along and every single post and I have to commend you on the consistency. That's dope, you bro. Thank you. Yeah. That's just a lot of focus. Yeah. Yo. Well, you know what it was at first? Yeah. I, I, I started it and I would just kind of be like, okay, this is the main point that I want to get across and I'd improv it and then I'd write it afterwards. But then I started writing them. One of my partners told me, he's like, yo, you should write it beforehand and then... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, write it beforehand, and then so you have a structure where you want to go. Right, because right. it's really, I'm doing it, like, I want to call them motivational minutes. Because our minutes determine our hours, which determine yes. our days, which determine our weeks, our months, our years. So if we can start having those, those minutes where we feel good about ourselves and good about our life and good about what's going on, regardless of all the, the, 
filtered through all the bullshit. All the bullshit. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Then then we're able to empower ourselves. And when we empower ourselves, we can empower others who can then empower others as well. So it's like yeah, it it just started just going. And then it was like one day I was like, I'm gonna do it for like a week. And then one week turned into six months. And then six months turned into a year. Now you years in the and game. Now, and now it's like two years plus you know, a, a month basically of doing it consent like every single yeah. day. Not can, only can, that, can, can, yeah, can, okay. can I ask a question? Did it, did it you have a purpose behind it or feel good at people validating like, yo, man, thank you. Bro. Even more that. than people, myself. Okay. I needed it for myself mm -hmm. more than I was doing it for other people. Because I was at a point in my life where I was like, I need I need help. I need something. You know what I mean? And there was nobody I, as men a lot of times we're afraid to ask for help. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? We got to be strong. Yeah. And especially, you know, it's like minority men. It's like, we really got to be strong. We can't show no weakness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, I have to figure out how to do this myself because I, I'm afraid to ask anybody for help. And so then I just started finding mentors who yeah. ain't got to be like, that I actually meet up with? I can listen to a Les Brown. I can right. listen to an Eric Thomas. Right. I can listen to a Zig Ziglar. Not or like, like grew up around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Somebody I can watch. The, thankfully, because of technology, I can watch these videos and right. listen to their story and see what they're talking about and be like, oh, okay, yeah. I can open these books. In the last two years, I never really read growing up, but in the last two years, I've read like, I think almost like 50 books in the last two years. That's you know that. yeah. 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 And that's kind of what you're doing. You're doing like a read along. Because not only that, think about it. This was something that people don't think about. They post all day. But there's people that deaf and can't hear you. Right. So guess what? When you write that down, they read in that. So now you're also showing love to people that are. You yeah, know, that, my, as well. my aunt told me she's like, yeah. you need to add the words to your videos, and I was like, damn, I need to, like you said, I need, I need an yes. assistant. I need, to, I, I need well, someone you to do know the words. on uh, Facebook, it has a, 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 you can go in there and you can click it, and it'll, it'll, everything you say, it'll type it up on the oh, screen oh, for oh, you. I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know. And even in the middle, we ain't learning, we ain't living. You know, even in the middle of doing it, like right now, like, like you can't see my screen, but it's under settings and viewings and comments, and then you go into comments. And um, it'll ask you, do you want to post mm -hmm. the subscription? And you just check the box. Okay. And as yeah. you talk, it's going to put the words up there for yeah, you. I you know what I'm saying? I'm going to start doing that. I'm yeah. start doing I that. never do that. Yeah. What if you stutter? It'll, it'll put the stutter up too? Yeah. It's going to go to the site for the stutter. Wait a minute. How many, how many, how many, every video you post up, how, how long is it? One minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do 60 seconds. Oh, just so you know, Deploy, it's called Turn On Auto Generation Caption. Hey, okay. We got to look that up. Yeah. Okay. And so I, I just clicked it to turn it on just to see. See, there it is yep. already on the yep. screen. You see what I'm saying? Yes, so sir. it'll come up. And we're in the middle of the show. So it's in your can, go live settings. That's tough, bro. So can, yeah. I, can I ask one question before? Oh, yeah, no, go ahead. Like, because I want you to keep, I want you to ask all those tonight. And where are you from? Originally, oh, San Bernardino area. I know, but I want people to know where you're from. I want people. So actually, I was born on Guam. My father was in the Navy. Nice. Oh, and wow. so nice. I was born on Guam. But yes, I'm an American citizen. Trump, don't try to drag me out this piece. <laughs> don't, <laughs> put a, don't put up a hot wall. Don't put a wall around us yeah. real quick. But yeah, so I was born on Guam. And then after my father passed away, uh, about mm -hmm. 18 months, we moved back to, to Cali because my mom is from Colton. And my, my wow. father's family is from San Bernardino. Wow. So then I grew up out there in the IE, like Redlands, Mentone, San Bernardino, okay. Colton, like that area. And, and that, that area is way different from LA, yo. I've been out there hey, doing hey, comedy hey, shows, yo. It's I, I way different, yo. Nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing because LA. It, so, it good, you know, bad. Yeah. It's, it's a different, it's just different. No, because we always looked at IE. Is, well, we always looked at IE as like, those are our brothers and Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's just like being in L.A. They just desert area. That's yeah. all. You know what I mean? The L.A. Never. You know what I mean? So we, I never, I got cousins that's literally like from Baseline Avenue. <laughs> C9000. You know what I mean? 17th Street. Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't, so me, I leave <clears throat> my views and like my, because I don't know that. You know what I mean? 
that's a whole nother. Now I know of it. It's I Republican town, up. right? Nah. It's every Republican. It's not Republican. Oh, he threw the zinger in there. He's like, hey, Republican. Sure. <laughs> I, I thought so. I thought <laughs> maybe, maybe now it wasn't I thought, before. I thought, I, I I thought so. Maybe, look, I, fucking, I, I ain't lived right. there since '98. Okay. Oh, out, out in the East since 98 because okay, okay. I lived in San Diego for like five years. Okay, okay. So, but it maybe now, but I don't I think, think so. It's a Republican I, spot. Yeah. Is that considered Orange County or no? No, 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 no. hell no. Oh, okay. no it's about bad. 45 oh. minutes from Orange okay, County. I yeah, fucked up, my bad. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. He's, he's, okay. Like, he's, he's, hey, he's <laughs> not from LA, everyone. <laughs> Zip time. Oh, Zip time. That's Chi Town. That's Chi Town right there. I thought that far shit was all the same thing. No, you got to pass because you're from Chi Town. If you was from LA, it would be very bad. No, no, yeah, Orange I, County, now that Republican. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. That, yeah, yeah. Republican. Yeah, 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 sir, yeah, sir. All right, my, 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 Orange my, my, County? No, okay. Fuck y'all. Never. Uh, <laughs> Blue County? <laughs> so the music. So the music. Where did I, I want to know where we can we, you know, where can we find majority of, where can we find more of your music? So, Spotify, Apple Music, um, Pandora, SoundCloud, like anything like that, if you just put in Deploy, D E P. L O I D E P L O I, then you can find it there, or also from uh, houseofvibe.com. There's also, uh, I got music up there as well. I want her to ask a question. First. Wait, can, can, to, uh, before we get, before, I don't want to forget. We definitely have one of his songs, so we can play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we need saying? to play that. This is that, this is that exclusive too, yeah. though. If you gonna play oh. it, this is too, this ain't this ain't this ain't out yet. So this is the oh, brand wow. new. Oh wow! I, I, hey, link, hey, I hey. linked up with a producer in Spain, and uh, he reached out to me because he heard a song I did, and he's like, "Yo, let's let's do some work." And then one track turned into an EP, and now we about to drop an EP in the next like month or two. Oh shit! Wow. Man, we're, we're, we're gonna save that. We're gonna save that. For the headline, you know, we go because we about you know, got two minutes. minutes. But, no, man, we no, we got questions and we got y'all ain't getting out here early tonight. I'm okay. sorry, because <laughs> oh, no, hey, y'all ain't interviewing deploy. You understand me? Y'all ain't getting I'll, away. Hey, Phil, I just need to refill this and we no. be good. No, okay, okay. <laughs> refill back. Uh, so deploy. Yes, sir. Someone is asking where the name came from, and I also <clears throat> want to know um, why the name. And why? Y'all oh, finish? No, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. What's that? What's that? They over there whispering and shit. Yeah, God, me, you know, honest. they stirring up that honesty. Yeah, they they trying to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all here with Mr. Feel Good. <laughs> so, but back to what I was saying on on the name. Yeah. How? Why? And um, what's the? You know, so. What's the, it basically started like, as I was telling Zoe earlier, I started listening to hip hop in like 85, oh, 86. That's the best. You know that's what I'm saying? So like, uh, it was like old school, but I was always nervous. I was afraid to have, like, I couldn't, I used to ditch class when I had to speak in public because I couldn't do it. Like, if you had to give us like a, a book report or something, right. I ain't gonna be there. My mom's probably watching, and she know, yeah, he was sick as fuck all the time. Right. Because anytime that happened, I would get myself sick. I would literally get so worked up and butterflies in my stomach because I was so nervous. I, I had so much fear of speaking in front of people that I couldn't do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. hip-hop always opened up that door for me where I felt comfortable. I would rap other people's verses all the time. And, you know, I would be in, like, marching band or, in, like, we would go to, to competitions and on the bus there we would get going and i'd start off with a verse from somebody you know what i mean oh, like we yeah. do like yeah, you know moment, the, the, yeah. like it would be like uh tribe called quest what's the scenario or it would be like hey, crisscross yeah. jump you know what i mean jump, or it would jump. be so, you know it would be something where everyone was involved and everyone's saying it but i would like start it off and then we would all get going and everybody knew verses and everybody yeah. knew parts wow. and whatnot so, yeah so wow. you know that was like really the foundation for me so doing stuff like that got me more confident and being able to do it, but still, it wasn't until like I was in college where I was like, I have to force myself to take a public speaking class. I have to do it because I, I love thing. music you, you so much. Build, yeah, I love music so much yeah. that I have to build my confidence. I yeah, have to be able to go in front of this class. Thing, bro. And, yeah, yeah, and force myself yeah. to do this. Because if I if I if I don't do it, to, yeah. I'm never gonna do it. And, and so that's the hardest thing to do. So I started doing it, and and in that meantime. I was writing my own raps finally. You know what I mean? So I was like low key writing them, but I would never say them to nobody. And I remember I used to I used to get my hustle on back in the day and I, I met up with these cats and it was all, you know, 
I was this little Mexican dude around these like foes, six, four brothers, just big motherfuckers. And they was like, so, you know, I was telling them that I write. And they're like, okay, we'll bust. And so I busted. And homeboy was like, Bro, it sounded like someone just deployed the artillery. Yikes! And I was like, Yikes! I was like, Yikes! whoa. And that just, it, it just stuck with me. <laughs> it just really, it stuck with me. And I also don't know if it came because was I was raised with like a, a military, like my father was in the Navy. My grandfather fought in the Korean War. My uncle fought in the Vietnam War. So it's like that, that the, the lineage in the family has always been soldiers. Deploy, right. You know what I mean? So it's like when you talk about deploy, like deploy the infantry, deploy the artillery. So it's like when I come there, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come and I'm going to bring it and I'm going to bring it every time. And you know how we do, bro. Right. Like, we, you know what I mean? Like we leave it all on the stage as yeah. you should anytime you do anything. You know what so, I mean? So, and to expand a little bit on that, okay. how, how I know deploy is from the stage. Um, we know a mutual band, uh, HOV. How survive? Which Cheer. is like, you know, that's the family, that's the crew, that's the you know, everything. And um, I met you at actually Harvales, and we kind of took it from there. I'm just kind of giving people a slow right, right. story of it. But I think that's a beautiful story of how the name came about. Me, Biz didn't come that way. Biz came because I was hanging out with West Side with the Rollins. And I was just, you know, my high hands. And I was just knocking niggas out. You know? uh, so you with the biz <laughs> right. now, so you just said biz. <laughs> no, it was rock bottom, because, you know, I had hands, you know what I so mean? So when you so, hit them, they go to the bottom. Hey, man, so, <laughs> I, it, 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 you know, you so they go stuff, to the bottom. Right. right. And, you know, it kind of left from... Okay. I am very humble. <laughs> right. I'm gonna call you yeah, knock out biz. What it was? Out, knock, knock out biz. Knock out biz. You know, knock out biz. Go ahead. These guys. <laughs> right. Knock out. Welcome to knock out biz. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. You knock out biz. That's what it is now. No, it was more. It was more of <laughs> knock out biz. <laughs> that's what it is. It was okay. more. That's what it is. That's what it knock is. out biz. <laughs> It's not longer biz. It's not our biz, y'all. <laughs> they made a That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Building that brand. So what it is, uh, what I ended up doing was I ended up going to tour a lot and do a lot of music. And I saw I would go back and see the homies. This Busy, bro. Man, I, I, I told a story on this show that um, that the homies would be like, you know I mean, like going to do drive-bys and shit. And I'd be like, all right, man, you know, I'll see you later. I'm I'm gonna play drums right quick. I'm gonna somebody out I'll be right back. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> they be like, cool. All right, cool. They let me out the car. I go play drums. Mm. They'll mm -hmm. go do what they gotta do. Put it back up. All right, bitch. Boom, boom. Not jump right in the car. So it was, to me, it was norm. It wasn't like a, you know, issue, but that's how the name Biz came about. Came right? So to see that yours came that way and like, wow, damn, like, I wish I could have a fucking story like that. Like, a motherfucker. Yo, it was crazy, too. I didn't think, like, I was nervous. I was like, man, I'm going to bust this verse right now. I'm going to see what these cats <laughs> think. And I, I can't even remember. That was 23 years ago. I can't even remember what the verse was. Been in For the real. Game. Oh, so it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, pre row It was just... Off the dribble. No, no, no. That one, that one was pre-written. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was pre-written. I really didn't start freestyling until, like, Years later, I started getting comfortable in the zone. You know okay, what I mean? And feeling okay. more confident yeah. with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, and then it was like, okay, cool, whatever. But okay. yeah. I, I think up. we're being very modest about who you are and what you've done. Can you tell them a little bit more about like the Fox stuff? In the community? No, uh, tell them. To, to tell them we want the music them, goods. Yeah. To, tell them the Fox stuff. Tell them the stuff, the, you know, the all the stuff that you've done with. Um, how survive and you've done maybe there's some fox stuff that you did yeah that was, thankfully uh, um because uh, of how survive and brew uh shout out anthony brewster from how survive right. um we have a, a mutual friend who works for fox and ryan hamilton what's up doggy um hey. and because of that he has opportunities and mm. you know as they always say if you get in the door should always bring folks with you. You right. know what I mean? Like right. make sure that you, yeah. you ain't that's, the only one. Exactly, you ain't the yeah. only one that walks through that door. You bring your people with that's you. Right. You know what I mean? So Just like Nelly and, did. Nelly and, did and that with the same woman. Exactly. Exactly. That's and perfect. so thankfully, yeah. this man, you know, he he would come and watch us all the time at at Harvell's when we would do our Wednesday night gig, and and he loved what we did. And so I, I would pitch him some ideas, 
And he was like, yeah, you know what? Let's let's run with this idea, okay? A, a battle rap, it, you're the, the Packers rapper, and the homie Louis King is the Atlanta Falcons rapper. Oh, here we go. And, go and, Packers, baby. And it's the yeah, all day. All day. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, we got some and, but, but no, so it's funny because, you know, I, I would just pitch ideas. And yeah. thankfully, it's like some of them, as with anything in life, you got to throw them darts if you're going to hit the board. You know what I mean? Like, See, I thought Zoe can be like a very good parallel with this because, you know, he does a lot of TV. You know <laughs> what I mean? And Zoe, you know, he always, you know, he he amazes me like with some of the shit that he does. And I'm like, mm -hmm. is this nigga, is this motherfucker? Thank you. No, 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 I'm trying to get kudos right now. No, no, no. Look at you. Look at you. He's like, I'm going to eat this up real quick. Look at you. But I, used to, I, I would trip out because yeah. I'm like, you know, he's kind of like a chameleon in a way. Like, because I know doing that stuff is a whole nother lifestyle as far as keeping up with the, um, the political world of it, trying to stay on the board. Trying to just be good in other hand, not trying to offend other people. Right, and, right, like, right. You know what I mean? Because you can stuff like me. I don't know if you know stories about me. <laughs> I know some stories about you. I can give a damn, nigga. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'll cut some shit off yeah. quick. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? And not know that, oh, shit, I could be cutting off my arm and my leg. You know what I mean? But because of the influence of the situation at that moment, I can give a fuck. You know what I mean? Right. So... But I've learned like how like different cats like yourself can actually be on these televised situations, be mm -hmm. in these cool relationships, and be able to keep that unique. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say my grandfather always told me it's not about what you know, it's, it's you about know. who you know. Right. And I'd say that that, that is the most important thing. Whatever 100. your network determines mm -hmm. your net worth. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. So if you can't build relationships with people right. and mm -hmm. be a stand-up person and and come with actual integrity because yes. character is everything. Your word, and bro. Keep, keep your, your word. word. Keep your, your word, word is everything. Not that's that's the that's is, the yeah. that's the first yeah. rule. What is it? Uh the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Yes. That's the first yes. rule right there. Yes. Yeah. Be, impe your be impeccable word. with your word. Yes. yes. Not only that, that it's all about delivery. It's about how you say things, about the words that you use. And so you, you could, you know, make it to where people understand That's because... Right. Yeah, yeah, you know? but if, if you fuck up your integrity, yo, one time, yo, niggas ain't gonna fuck... Especially Ever. motherfuckers with money, and they got dollars, they got millions... They don't have time to waste. Nope. Right. So nope. you fuck up one time. Nigga, That's it. They ain't got time can for you, you. Can you rewind to before you said? Damn, I was trying to. Um, before you said what you said earlier, um, I was trying to catch you. Before. Sorry, you was talking about like the different spots that I did and stuff like that. Is that what you? you well, said? there was something that you mentioned about about just. Uh, yeah. But I, I mean, I feel you. you know what I mean, I, I do. Me, I try not to be the person to push it back. It just, I, I just look at filtering things. You know what I mean? Right. Um, as far as how we deal with each other, like there are certain relationships that it's okay to cut off. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. And yeah. No, that's that's the thing though. There's there's definitely a thin line. Right. Yes. And there's a firm line. And you, you can't yes. compromise but your you integrity. you talk about that a lot on your video. Oh, yeah. Having different yes. relationships, yes. knowing who you are, really self-empowerment. You know what I mean? Right. So, to me, having self-empowerment was a, um, was be good, right? We're so good. I'm not going to offend you. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to respect you so much that it's going to feel like, like, Really? Why are you, you know, you be too humble? Because that can come off that way. I can come off very humble or too humble, but people can think like, what is he really up to? You know what I mean? But I'm just really being me, and I don't right. feel like there's anything to hide well, if you just that's you, what you, right? you need to be. You can't be nobody right? you're else. You're just trustworthy, right? Yeah, like, just You should be, you. be able to trust me, you know? Right. So the, the relationship is good until I see different, until you say something different, like we was talking about earlier. Like, a person can filter themselves out with their one fucking word. You know what I mean? Yes. Of who they are, which lets That's why me know. I said it's all about Ding delivery. Dong. It's you all about it. how you say it. It's all about how people take it. But then again, you also got to remember, you're not going to please everybody. 
his, me like, his messages that he say every day is not going to be for everybody, but as long as it helps out one person, one it's person. worth saying. That's it. Yeah, but, we, That's but it right it's there. the relationship. You know what I mean? But but there's people. That's what we we all about. have Facebook friends of people we mm-hmm. do not know. Exactly. So we really don't yeah. have a actual relationship. We have mm-hmm. relations because yeah. we just know them via Facebook. Right, but in this line of business, like in this line of when you're doing entertainment, you mm-hmm. know, you know the lines, the people you got to stay close with, the people you want to stay in with, the people you might have Oh, so you're saying the ones that you do have that relationship uh, with. Why? Well, so so he's, he's talking okay. about he's which one he need people. to filter yeah. out, like, yeah. to yeah. keep no, around and not. Yeah. You know, okay, business. Right. So you know, forget we, social media. You talk we're, we're at that relationship. Like, there's certain relationships you should be able to cut off. There's certain relationship that's worth withstanding. Like, I'll give you fair and I'm being straight blunt, right? I'm being straight cut through. Everybody know? Yeah. Straight to the punch, right? There was a situation Sometimes. between uh, <laughs> the <Filter on bull. laughs> I can't play with there, you, cousin. There was, yeah, there was a situation that happened no, while I was in an international on an international tour, right? We don't have to speak of who the individual, right? But there was an altercation that happened on that tour, right? Okay. And because of the relationship. I figured that this person would treat me different, right? Because mm-hmm. of the relationship we have. I look at you as a father figure in the music industry. You're like my mentor, right? Mm-hmm. They say a great, successful per- people have mentors. You know what I mean? The only way to be successful is yeah. Yeah, to like have great mentors, yeah. right? So this actual person, you know, he's a great mentor that I feel, right? I model my fucking band after this, right? Everything. You know who I'm talking about, right? And because of the situation, that relationship has gotten kind of weeded out because of what happened, because of what was said, that filtered every fucking thing. I was like, ah, I see why. You know what I mean? So relationships, I feel, can be cut off. Some relationships, I feel, can be cut off in bad standards. Like, damn, I fucked up. I wish I, you know, some really, like, damn, I wish that could go over because of what happened. It had to happen for us to see this. You know what I mean? Right. It's, 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 it, it's, it also like, all depends so, on what it is, though. So correct me if, that's, if, if that's I'm right. What I'm no, because right, what right. I'm saying is, is like, if this person has been there for you thousands of times, but one time. They do something fast, so it all depends how fast. But they I, the, here's the way I view it. I view it like this: you know, with all my years of getting to know people, you never ever really know anybody. Oh, exactly. Different exactly. types of pressure yeah, brings we'll out different that. types of characteristics yeah. of a right, person. Right. You feel what I'm that's saying? What and that's what happened. Right, and and that's and and, and so a friend of mine is going through something right now, and they was like, "I never thought," and I said, "Listen, it happened this way, so you can see it, so now you can." pull away and make the adjustments that's needed to be made. And a lot of times, what happens is when it's a true friendship, bro, regardless to what the beef is, you come back together. It's like a yeah. pair of butt cheeks. And that's what I'm saying. That was the most exactly. hurting part. The fact that that was broken. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. But that was the most hurting it could be it, If you have not tried to or made an attempt to or effort to rekindle it. I tried. Okay, I with the, no with, 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 that's what I'm saying, though. Don't lie. With, with yeah. certain people in our industry, uh, in, in the music world industry, Yeah. Yeah. we're kind of we're kind of cutthroat with each other. You know what I mean? Like, our world is not like... Well, you know, most worlds are cutthroat, but... but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I, but I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know the comedy world. So yeah. But it's cutthroat, and I don't have to know it. I, kn- I know I'm enough saying, comedians. Like, but if, yeah. if, if I experience uh, it, uh, I say life in I say life in general though is no, cutthroat. No, you know what it is? You know? Right. Yeah, no, yeah, you know yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Life in general. Yeah, is. everybody is in your life for a reason. So he was there, but he overstayed his welcome a little bit. God showed you, hey, he overstayed his welcome. He gotta go. Or you overstayed your well. You overstayed your No, wait, no. But look, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, man. You can be somewhere, bro. And for me, it's God. 
but for other people it might be a gut say, feeling yeah, yeah, that's yeah. telling you pull out exactly. pull away stop hanging out with this person and don't do this show with this person mm-hmm. but you like hey man good people the money is right hey, this is and you keep doing it and hey, boom hey, this is kind of a revelation for right now this i'm glad you're here because you kind of and this is a revelation for Biz right now because this is good. You bring out the best in him as well. Because this is the things Pause. like, okay, I know you are. Hey, that was like that was like that gopher moment. <laughs> oh, fuck. So what I'm saying is, I've been yeah. on the stage with Deploy. This is the first time me and Deploy ever been on a one-on-one basis with us, right? And me and him pass each other a lot through the shows because you kind of get the the aroma of what's going yeah, on. Yeah. You kind of right. get used to everybody. You know everybody in the scenes and, and our network. You know, and certain people you want to stay close with. You know what I mean? And mm. these are the things that you know a person like yourself that I said like is a great expertise and being on a two year journey with relationship and and self will and self finding. Self-actualization. Right, right. Self-actualization. Bingo. Good shit. You know there it is. I think that's the motive of things that we need. Like, I, I need a piece of you. A great person told me, he said, everyone you meet in your life has a piece of you and a piece of you and Yep. Mm, and that's, that's it. it. You know? yeah. But it's that's everyone you... Yeah, you have to have an interaction. You know what I'm saying? Because that's key. That. Unless you're an observer. That's why we need people yeah. like yourself. Yes. You know what I mean? You see, yeah. Like you, who's yeah, just, like you know what I mean? Like, right, yes. right. Not to feel like you know what I mean. Cuzzo have done. A, I'm not to cut you off. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Go talk, talk, talk. Cuzzo have done a lot of stuff in the counseling area and those things like that. So I like when I bring cats that have done inspirational, have experienced these things. You know what I mean? Have gone through. I remember we used to work at Traders. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole nine. You know what I mean? And these are years that I've saw this. So yeah. that's why I was like, I want to understand why he still does what he does, or what keeps him going for this t- fucking journey of self actualization. And, and, and what I feel for him is love, is the motivation, is gratitude behind it. Yeah. But what I want to just tap on top top of that, like different people cover your life for reasons. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wherever you at mentally, that person comes to your life. Exactly. Spiritually, that person comes to your life. Sometimes. A person that gave you the best motivation in the world, right? You outgrow that person. You do, okay? Right. Because do. that person's on one mindset that they can't get. When you Any grow, higher. exactly. You, you start growing exactly. to different person because you start hanging around different people. That's why I say I put myself around people that's gonna make me expand myself, make, make me grow. If yeah. it feels uncomfortable, let me learn from this person. It's gonna make me be a, become and a better there's person. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing there, you all. should never feel bad if you outgrow somebody. Let's make that clear. Right. Never yeah. feel bad if you outgrow <laughs> somebody. Well, well, just know that it's the difference between the outgrowth exactly. and outlearn. Exactly. You have to know that. Yeah. Because growth, you may not learn anything in your growth process. Mm-hmm. You see, what I'm saying maturity yeah. kicks in, and it just you just do better. You didn't learn yeah. much. You just don't make the silly choices. Yeah. And so it's a difference exactly. between learning and growing. Yes. So when you difference. talk about, like for me, yeah. there's people that, that, that I've been around that are, I'm like, man, this dude is so intelligent. You know, like, man. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. know, and I'm, in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm paying attention to how he speak. Yeah. I got a friend who takes about two seconds to answer any question asked to him or to respond to any comment. He said that real mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he, he processing it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, bro, you taking too long. You know, come on, man. You know, you know, he like, bro, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to give you the question you want to hear. I'm trying to spit out the best and most accurate response mm. I have in yes. me. Yes. And he's trying to break it down for you to understand because yeah. you might not be where he at. So he's like, let me show you but, the way. But, but, Guys, to give you that answer like that, That's they are not on that level where you want to become, but they know the secret. They get the answer because yeah. the experiences. Well, you know it, 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 it's hold because. On, hold on, Zoe. No, 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 no. 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 No, no, no.
no, no, I'm not buzzed right now like that. But let's go. You feel what I mean? No, no. You also somebody in the block that got every knowledge in the world. You're like, yo, this shit dope as fuck. I love this knowledge you're giving me. And you aspiring to get there. And here's the killer part. And he's still the same level. But yeah, he gives you some dope shit that works. And, and his shit is still dope. No, even yeah. though even though if you surpass him or her, yeah. the stuff is still yes. dope. But here's the thing. Up until two years ago, bro, I, I promise y'all, I kid y'all not, mm-hmm. I never even assumed I was intelligent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the furthest thing from my mind. And people were like, you always been intelligent. Just the way you always talk, even when we was on the block. But like, you were just being you and you didn't. Nobody, because yeah. he did, we didn't give each other this information like we're doing right yeah, here, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't compliment each other. No. You see what I'm saying? We were in competition, and that's what the problem was. Competition, oh, was and like, yeah. we were incompetent. Yes, exactly. With each other. Yeah. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's what hurts. That's what it is, yeah. That's what hurts. That's exactly what it is. You know, because yeah. I, I'm not going to tell Deploy that was hard because he hard, and I, I don't want him to know he hard. Yeah. Like, that's going to yeah. stop him from being hard. Yeah. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So it's a growth process, and it's sad that 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 we have to grow apart. There's too many of us carrying luggage which we should have left way back in the '80s. Wow, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. way back yeah. in the '80s. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes, sir. Whether Thank it's brother, you. sister, cousin, mother, Every, auntie, yeah. whatever it is, yep. friends, we relationships, it. all that shit. Yeah. We're carrying yeah. it, and yeah. so when we really grow, that's why I say it's a difference between growing and learning. Because yeah. when you grow, you grow apart. Mm-hmm. That don't mean you grow apart with indifferences. No. You just grow apart because your direction, your growth, your strength is in another area. See, I try exactly. not to I try not to give like I I let the I let y'all do that. You know, give the 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 breakdown solutions, yeah. the breakdowns. You know what I mean? I like to give like the most high schoolish freaking answer. My wife was like, <laughs> wait, no, no, high school like, comical, comical shit. No, 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 but it's real no, though. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. my wife was like, I don't like watching your show. And I was like, why? She was like, because you act like a high school kid. I act some of because when you're home, you're like a scholar. But when you get on the show, and I'm like, well, because I don't want to be, I don't always want to be smartest dude in the room. Yeah, I know about DNA and all these, you know, uh, uh, weird biology, scientific you know, stuff. Over. Yeah, I I can go for days about some shit that will blow people's brains. Yes, but I brains? don't want to be always the right. Uh, I don't want to be the smartest <laughs> dude always in a room. You know what I mean? What's that countdown? No, I'm just saying. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay, we, yeah, we good. No, we but, good. Um, I don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. So that's why I'm always. Well, they say you never should be the smartest right. one right. in the room. And if so, you're like, in the wrong but, room. But, but I'm like, what God told me. Know you this though. Come as a child. So I'm always as a child mind when the information. Around. Like, because I don't yes. know. I can. I'm always learning stuff from Phil. I'm always learning stuff from Zoe. I'm always learning stuff from. From, from from red now. Nah, I was going to I know you got me talking. It's okay. But, we red. We red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got red hair. Yeah. But you know, let me say this but though. I'm always learning these things. There's uh, always, you know, there, there's a lot of statements or old folk sayings that's that's oxymorons, like the one that says, "You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink." Right. If you really know about horses, you can't lead a horse to water. Mm-mm. You can't. I don't. A horse smell is so strong, he will lead you to water, and then he'll let you know. If the water's safe to drink, whether he drinks it or not. Yeah. Right. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? So so when when people say, I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. See, the reason why I, I don't really say that too much, very, very, very rarely do I say it. Because you can learn from the dumbest person if you pay a yeah. freaking wow. attention. That's what I'm yeah, telling you. You see what I'm saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Everybody's you know what I'm saying? going to yeah. show you no, whether it's one no. thing, two, three, three All you got to do is pay something. attention. Yeah. My yeah. uncle Listen. is a crackhead. He's still alive. 72 years old. I learned so much shit from his ass. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> never do crack. Crackhead. <laughs> no, but, no, but, but he's smart, though. He's on the way, though. But just, you know, as far as the... You should always have other people who are above you that you aspire to reach right. to, you know that exactly. level absolutely. not not saying that you can cuz you def, you absolutely right yeah. if you're not learning from somebody then there's no reason to 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 be mm-hmm. around those people but then you can learn from every single person, no exactly. matter who it is, no matter yes. what it is. They could be somebody yep. with a complete different ideology yep. than what you have, so yeah, yeah, you yeah. can still learn from it. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. That's right. And, and, and the thing, and the reason why I got that is because I was 13 years old. No, when I was 12, and my mom's and I was walking to the liquor store. Oh. Mm-hmm. In an old wine, old bum. 
was trying to give me advice. Mm. And I'm going to tell you his advice. But I was like, man, shut up, fool. You don't know nothing. You're drunk. My mom slapped me in my mouth, of course. She, she, she old school. Oh, yeah. you know? yeah, and she right told there. me, she but said, don't. you don't ever not pay attention to what somebody said, was saying. And here's the advice he was giving me. Me and my mom was walking back. You know, I'm a kid. You know, but I'm a gang member. And mom's yeah. is an adult. And she's a mother hen. She's going to protect. She's a lioness. She's going to protect her cub. But he saw me for days in, days out, weeks and months and years. And he knew that I was a, a neighborhood terror. Mm. So he was telling me, you walk on the outside of your mama. And you protect yes. your mama. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. even at 12 years old, I'm like, you old fool, <laughs> shut up. You don't know nothing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, 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 but because I dis, disregarded him because he was homeless, he was a bum. Well, he wasn't homeless, but he was a bum. You know how winos back in the day just stand around corners on crates drinking all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I've learned that I've had some of my best wisdom has came from eight, nine-year-old kids. I, I agree. Me too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but they do. They be crackheads, but sometimes they be saying some real shit. You're like, yeah. oh, that makes sense. That's the yeah. fuck you just you know, say. You know, you know what what's man? so yeah. sad about homeless people? They just somebody without an address. They That's ain't it. Always uh, on drugs. And think about it. How sane would you be if you've been out on the street for so long? I, I ain't trying to think about that. But I, <laughs> you know what I mean? but that's just it. We got to think about that so you don't get there. That's what gives you the drive to say, hey, I ain't going to end up like that. Hey, she I'm on the show to help hey, us one of us going to be homeless. Right. Yo, I, when, I used to work at Trader Joe's, and there was this dude outside who was always there just posted, you know, the homeless a brother on the mm -hmm. madness. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, and right. And I would always bring him some food out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the, every time I go on lunch, I yeah. take him take him something. Yeah, like, yeah. Even if it's a bag, like what you want, dog? Let's you need go, you need a go. water. You need a bag of chips. Like yeah. whatever. Right. And, yeah. And I started talking to him over. Like we became friends over like a year and a half. And he told me the reason he was there was his wife divorced him, took mm -hmm. the house, and mm -hmm. got everything. And then his mom died. And he was like, he was like, yo, I'm done with the system. I don't right. want to. I don't want to work in a system where wow. I need to like. So what, what's going to happen to me? He's like, I'd just rather live on the street. He's like, I've been happier on the street wow. than I ever was in my marriage. It's a and, choice. It's and, a choice. But, yeah, but, it but nine times out of ten, wow. because of his physical appearance, yes. people disregard him. Exactly. Absolutely. Now he's, Absolutely. Now he's nothing. They don't even want him to hey, go no, get coffee at 7-Eleven no right next to them. Can dude. I tell y'all just one shit? I was no, doing. I'm not saying that's for everybody. But, right, yeah, right, but, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all one thing. I was downtown. Shooting the American Baby video shoot about a couple weeks ago. Nice. But I was downtown and I'm shooting. So and I got all these trailers, all these fucking wood homes and shit, right? You know, the homeless, right? Right. And I'm cutting up, right? Oh, and the boy walk over like, yo, what you doing, man? Like, this is dope. Uh, oh, bro, you know, I'm shooting a video, you know, the album is the album, and I put yeah. out a couple of dollars, so I, mean, I gave them to him, like, oh. I go back to shooting a music video, whoa, whoa, and he this is beat my bitches out. Right, right, you know, blase, blase, whatever, and this ninja turned around and said, hey, yo, here's your money. Said, hey. like, I don't need it, I'm good. The fuck you talking about? Like, you good? You sure? He's like, I don't need your money. Like he was, like he was happy. Dope, he was dope, good. Dope, dope. Right, right. And I'm like, golly. <laughs> but see, it, it, but see, he saw you in an element doing something that he probably wished that he could do, and he's saying, you know what? I don't even need this. You do you. But you know what the I'm thing is, we have this this I, misconception I, I, that they need. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 there was this homeless person who died, right? Mm -hmm. Years ago, he died, and it was all on the news. He had a money bet on with thirty thousand dollars in the cash. Damn. He died. You see what I'm saying? You don't know. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what they went through to get there. We don't know if they decided. You know what? But, I don't want to deal with society yeah. and the system no more. Yeah. I'm gonna come here. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And but you know what? I can say this about them. They can really care less what anybody think about them. Oh, of right. course. I, I, Many I, I, of I us, love that. I we love are that. more concerned about what somebody think about us than what we think about ourselves. Yep. And, and that draws to this lady I met five years ago. I okay? thought that was crazy. What? 
That's crazy. That's dope. Be That's like, dope. You got to be one delusional uh, motherfucker. But it's but, true. But, but you know what? Like, yeah. they're not giving a fuck about you. You giving a fuck about them. Exactly. 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 Like, you were but, 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 but honestly, <laughs> L.A. is the easiest place to be homeless because it's warm all the fucking time. Other people are just homeless in Chicago. Oh, yeah, Chicago. You are freezing okay. to death. You be yeah. dying. Yeah. You come here you frostbite and, out there. And be Man. homeless and shit. I met a lady that lived in my building about like four years ago, okay? Educated, smart as fuck and shit. She lost everything. Same situation. Her husband divorced her. She was he had a lot of money and left her stranded. And she had to adjust to life. I was, I was like, yo, are you homeless? Like, I can't pay more for my rent and shit like that. I would give her food, money, all the type of shit like that. But she said, you know what, so I'm ha- I'm more happier now. Mm-hmm. I'm okay because I don't have to answer to him. Mm-hmm. He don't have to pay for anything for me anymore. I'm okay. I'm good. It does that psyche that psyche well moment. It can be crazy. Even psyche moment in their mind, it don't make sense to us. And I'm not gonna. Right. But but hold on a second. It don't make sense to them. But it makes t- take sense to it makes sense to them that they're okay to be homeless. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know what? And they so- do it. I'm so happy that you am so passionate about that story. <laughs> <laughs> I am not gonna no, go against that. But all I'm saying is, I know some veterans that's like, fuck this shit. The motherfucking government to pay shit and do shit for right. me. I, I that's mean, that's you got me out here. Right, right, right. Motherfucker. God damn, motherfucking government go tell me, go tell, tell me right. And I understand everything. And, and guess what? Them same veterans. He's getting two, three thousand dollars a month. Right. No, no, for facts. Facts. Yeah. But, but they born at two, three, th- no, they can't live nowhere. You know, what, well, the what, thing what, is because anyway. they have such a mental disability. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. That they they, they, they cannot be responsible as far as maintaining it. You know what I mean? And that's the problem. I have a cousin that like he goes to um those group therapies and right. they do all that stuff, but they see, yeah, he gets paid. He lives in the Gore Hills, it's bomb and everything, but he yeah, yeah they're so, mentally not there. And 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 to tie that into right, you, Walt. To yeah. Tie that, to tie that into you to you know understand that like how would you say your movement your and what the your movement helps that community like how how can you help someone see even though we already probably gone through the whole yeah they already good where they're at like how do you keep them happy and whether what you do how they can. You know what I mean? Learn from you. You saying as far as like homeless folks? Yeah. But well, because a lot of times, and, and some of those some of those hard. folks is it, it is a choice. Not not saying that I'm not it's saying not, that for sure, everybody, sure, but some sure. folks yeah. it is some. a choice. Yeah. Now for others it definitely isn't, and that all comes back down to that self love. Yeah. That love that we're never taught to have. We're taught to like hate ourselves, to hate who we are. You know what I mean? Because it's like you have this fabrication of reality through filters from social media, smart oh, devices exactly. that feed us all day long about what's beautiful and and what's you know right. happiness and right. this mirage that isn't really even there. Like that shit is all fake. You know what I mean? So it's like once you can really find out who you are and be happy with who you are. And that comes back to us having conversations, <laughs> and be, you know, being able to talk with with people, whether it's going to schools and talking to kids or outreach programs like we were talking about or whatever it may be, but yeah. teaching people how beautiful they really are. You know what I mean? Like how beautiful you really are on the inside, because that's what really matters. It's, it's all about how you feel about yourself, because how you feel on the inside is a reflection about how you feel on the outside. True. That's 100. Right. I and I love the love. fact that you say beautiful, because that's actually one of his sayings that he says at the end. He says, have a blessed day, beautiful people, and remember to always stay shining. Yeah. That's something that, and so I love the fact that you use the word beautiful, because a lot of times people don't think that beautiful could mean towards men, too, or towards mm-hmm. everybody, but beautiful can. Well, that's what I love about society, yeah. again, society says what's male and female. And so going back to what you were saying, a lot of people, you know, would, regardless of what they believe or what they don't believe, mm-hmm. what I'm saying is when you have a personal relationship with God, I can never get away from that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As much money as I made in the streets, as much fun as I had in the streets, I was never really happy. Exactly. When I built that relationship with God, my God, you yeah. know, it's personal. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I found happiness. Yep. I found peace. <laughs> I found less stress. Yep. You know what I mean? And a lot of people choose 
to make choices that cause them to go left or right. Yep. You know what I mean? And I for agree. me, I I, just, I believe the way the way I am. It's only one option for me, and that's to succeed in all that I do, not in one area. All that I do, failure is not an option. Yeah. And it's not that I don't fail. It's just that fail teaches me how yes. not to do yes. something yes. or how to do it different. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, 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 and feel that that you found that after the fact. You after. Feel that after the fact. Yeah. After. So th- just to piggyback on what you said, it's like a lot of youth right now. They're in situations where they have no choice to, but to game bang, be crazy, live the life they want to experience through what their situation is gives to them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll say but, no choice but, in the sense of lack of parenting. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lack of parenting because yeah. I just believe because we had that discussion about choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just believe that when, 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 when parents... Or mother and father is just that a mother and a father, person that gave birth, person that planted the seed. When you don't, but they, but they, when you're but not a parent, to, but they're trying to hustle to get their money. It can't be parents though. Well, no, 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 that, that's well, not true. I, well, well, that's I, not true. I, I, I had a young parent, you know. But I'm just saying, my 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 my, my thing is sometimes when you grow up in a situation where you have no choice but the game bang or play sports or or you don't see nothing, you don't see no light. If you're in a bad neighborhood, you grew up in a ghetto, you grew up in a situation where you have nobody to look up to, talk to, you grow into these moments of game banging or selling drugs and shit like that because you, you have nobody to teach you some shit and show you some shit. Well, I learned about being a big brother, growing up doing shit in Inglewood, Compton, even Chicago. Kids need that opportunity to hear another voice that's different from what they're experiencing. But you okay. know what, though? Here, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a firm okay. believer in this. It's different now because no kids really go to the park and hang out. When I was younger, yeah. we hung out at the park. Exactly. Maybe not, so, well, not, so, not, not now. At the park. Right. But what I'm saying Last is, year, yeah. here, here, this is my firm belief. Some people say we had no choice, and I say I had no choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Because I was groomed into it from birth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but in reality, when I really look at it, and thanks to Biz, I really looked at it after about three or four shows ago when we talked about choice. Bro, I went to school. School books showed me choices. Mm-hmm. I've heard conversation where I've heard choices. You see what I'm saying? Which I could have said, you know what? Damn, that I'm going to focus on this school. Yep. I'm going to get some good grades. Now, Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't do it. What I'm saying is, when I look there. back it's on the it, the reason why you did can't comment on why you didn't do it. You didn't do it because you didn't have nobody telling you about it, but the teachers. No, but listen though, I was so bad as a kid, bro. Okay. If you'd have told me that, Witness. I'd have slapped you upside the head with a pistol. Oh, of course. I told you to get the hell up out of here. When you see what I'm yeah. saying? Because I, listen, bro, I started carrying a gun at 11, and when I embraced it, my favorite movie was Charles Bronson, Steve McQueen. Clint Eastwood, all gunplay, all violence, Kung Fu Theater, Channel 13, I was gonna say, on Fridays. I no idea. Wow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, no, so seen, it was yeah. all violence, and that's what I liked. You see what I'm saying? So it, I, I played football. I was great at it. Yeah. Went to jail and played football, and we was being let out of jail to go play against San Diego State. We were so good. You see what I'm saying? We got the long yard Can I say right. this? You didn't have an out to see something different or somebody oh, tell you something no, different. Bro. Besides no, the no, teachers. No. Okay, all right. Tell me somebody that told you something different than a teacher. Bro. Do you have a cousin, uncle, Listen, or a I, I mentor had, to tell you some I shit? was a part of the Glendale Bears. I was shipped out. You grew up in Glendale? No, I grew up in Los Angeles. I was shipped out, went to a summer camp in Glendale where we played football. Yeah. White folks, money, back then. Yeah. I saw a little bit different. I was that badass Dennis the Men- Forget Dennis. I was. No, you were the I was. I was freaking. Yeah, um, yeah, I, get, I, get, I was. I was the kid on Omen, the little bad kid uh, killing everybody. Damon. 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 I was him. <laughs> I believe that being in the streets was 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 what I was born to do. I loved it. I was excited about it. But. By the time I hit 16, first time I ever heard about a jet ski, I was in prison reading a book. Wow. And it said jet skis. Yeah. It's too late. I'm in prison now. Uh, yeah. So I began to learn all these things. So when I got home, I said, I'm going to make money so I can do all them things I read about in prison. Exactly. 
You see what I'm saying? Wow. You know why? You got to take a pause out for yourself to really see. And that's kind of Life what we're was doing so fast. in this quarantine. Everybody's starting to see what we've been messing up on, what we could do that's better like at. That's like money scams. So you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. what this quarantine is. Now we, now you're reading books. You say you're reading more books. You're reading more books. You're starting to expand your mind now. Because it's like this. There's two types of people. One, the one that's just going to keep going with the system that they was taught. Or two, they said, nah, you know what? Fuck this. Just like you said, you could have said, you know what? Nah, I'm going to go get these good grades. Right. Fuck what I was taught. I'm going to go do this. But it's up to the person on who no, they are. Here's the killer part. I was a straight-A student. Mm -hmm. From day one all the way to the 10th grade. I was straight A's in the 10th grade. Yep. I dropped out of school. <laughs> First semester. Mm. Because I wanted the game bang. That was my more cousin, thrilling to me. My cousin did the same thing you did. Smart as fuck. Did a double, but still wanted the game bang. Yeah. But my process through that situation, you had no choice because nobody was giving you that. I don't know how you, you see your parenting. No, I agree with you. I, I had no choice. Was, my, my cousin had no parenting. I didn't have no parenting. I played sports, it was different, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you in the hood, you have no choice but to play sports or get your ass whooped. But, but, but see, Biz said something. See, I'm the type of person. I chew I don't on. Wanna, I don't want to say it again. I, I chew on. Com you ain't got to. I <laughs> chew on conversations. Say, like, got it. I chew on so conversations tell, later. So please tell me how no. did you get through that moment because no, you listen. had certain choices. Biz now, said this. Choices. Biz said. And I said, I didn't have a choice. My family started the neighborhood. Yeah. I was born into the neighborhood. Okay. I had a simple choice. Because, see, when Ben said, you have a choice. You can go left, you can go right, you can go up, you can go down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I had a choice. At 11, I started carrying a gun. By the time I was 13, my family couldn't tell me what to do. He made that choice. You see what I'm saying? He is now. At 13, I could have done something different because exactly. I've already earned their respect. But you know what? No, yep. but it's crazy. That's kids and now. That's what I, and, yeah. and, and, that is and, kids now. Yeah. Right. Everywhere. And at 13, my family was afraid of me. And I want to wow. see what your take is on that, but that's what I was telling you. Everybody might say that, and I understand because of the situation that you're in, because right. the influence Right. so strong. It's like, hey, did nobody force me to play fucking drums? No, I you did to. that. Right. It wasn't the nature around me that was there. Everybody was like, yeah, play yeah. drums, play drums. Yeah, well, well, I yeah, made that choice. Interest. But I thought about the opposite. What if I'm the kid that grew up in the house where gang banging, I, 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 um, I, want, I need your take on this. But I had a friend from Harbor City. He was from Harbor City Crip. And this dude, like, was, I mean, gone. When you say a nigga gone, he was gone. And we in middle school. And he is, and I'm like gang affiliated, gang banging, through the core, solidified, I'm done, ain't nothing gonna change, gone. He is gone, right? I knew for a fact, like, damn, that nigga made that choice at a young age. Like, it's fun to me. It's just some fun shit. Get out here, run up on some niggas, Stock out some, you know, I mean? it's, it's just some fun street shit that, you know, I mean, I look at it as, you know, I mean, just exercising your hands. Right. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's how I fun, look at it. Yeah. That time. Right. It was That's fun it. to me, bro. 13. Yeah. But when I'm looking at someone who take it as, who's take it on as solidified, that wasn't my choice. I just liked it. You know right, what I mean? right. It was something to do in the moment. But he, but I mean, anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. So no, I, 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 I want to, let me, I want to really know. You say that it was your choice to play drum, like you just chose that, right? I agree. But was there anybody at all that you can remember in your life that you kind of was like influenced by? That kind of yeah, that, that kind of sparked so, that fire. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm saying? glad you Absolutely. said that because everyone asked me that, and at an age of okay, all I remember it ain't got to be somebody that was like in the neighborhood. No, 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 yeah. no. Okay, okay. okay. buddy guy, it could be you know what I mean. Yeah. 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 So being in foster Someone care, answer, yeah. so being in foster care, my great grandmother and my grandmother, they will always kind of lace me down on how you started playing drums, and they always would tell me that you started on pots and pans, right? Mm. So that means I was probably like two or three being on pots and pans. But before that, my grandmother would tell me you would at at like eighteen months or like very very young age, you would clap your hands, and you were like six months or eight months or whatever. So I don't know. People say, yeah, you can be influenced, but I don't know that. Why? Because this is all I've done my whole fucking life. You know what I, I mean? And being 12, 
and I'm hitting the stage at 12. I'm not, I'm not like doing some, some Bob and Pops event. I'm not doing some like auditions. I'm not doing some young yeah, you have a fun time. in a moment. No, nigga, I'm doing stages at in a moment though. 12, fun, 14, yeah. 13, 16. At stages, the gurus play that. Uh, Anthony Brewster. I was performing at the uh, Oasis 10 years before he got there. When he got there, when the art guru got there, yeah. he was hearing about me. Mm. You get what I mean? So those are the things that I'm saying. Like, I understand it all. But what influenced that, it was just there, I believe. So it, so it feels I, like, the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you, you were waiting to say something. No, no, because I play drums too. I grew up in a gospel family, and I couldn't sing, so they put me on drums. And you can't say anything. Go play drums. You, you know are the saying? happy feet of the family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I didn't even go play drums and shit. So I had no choice but to play drums at motherfucking. I am probably wouldn't give us you, but I had to play drums at 10 years old. Okay. But I was good at it. I wanted to do it because I, I was good. I was good because I had to do forced. it. I was, yeah, I, was, right. I had to do it because I had to do it. You know what right. I'm saying? So it wasn't that fun to you. It was, it, it was, it was like fun. a chore deal. It, it, it was chore. It was, it was fun. a chore. It was, it was chore, but yeah. it was fun. But I'm like, nah, I'm gonna do other shit. Yeah. Because I was jealous of people that could sing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, right. Right. You know what? I know right. why. Right. 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 Like, he like, nigga, don't be cutting me off, nigga. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm trying to <laughs> you know who you talking to? I, 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 I want to hear your thing. You had that love for a long time, bro. Fuck no. That, don't do that. It's your dick. Don't did give me that? the typical bullshit. Did yeah, he did. did. You did say that. You did say that. You did not say that. People say, yo, play drums. I'm playing. And they gave you the drums at a young age. They shit. gave me pots and pads, people. That yeah, was bad. I had hey, a but I feel like, no, but I feel like the I response know. that you were getting from playing them pots and pans, I guarantee you that your your whoever was watching you was cheering you on. Right. Okay, you know, exactly. What I'm saying is, I was playing on pots and pans, and then at twelve I started off. So the there was no one playing. In, right. What I'm saying. But there was a lot of fucking music. Why? Because of Fat Domino, Mahalia Jackson, right. Bobby Blue Bland. Mm, um, mm. Um, uh, I mean, like, stupid from Muddy Waters to Howlin' Wolf to Gang Stars. I mean, really? Gang Stars? Out of that group, you go way to Gang Stars to fucking Phil Collins to Celine Dion. See, you doing what you're doing. I mean, to Toby, I mean, from country to Hillbilly. I was absorbing so much fucking music. At that age, my grand my my great grandfather owned a record shop. So, ask me how I learned how to play drums. It wasn't on pots and pans. It was from listening to fucking records. Right. But 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 hold it. Wait a minute. Cause I can sit here. Right. But if you give me some drums, the way you hold them damn sticks, I know. and you got the and you I twirl know. them, yeah, yeah, that's no, a bro. skill. No, but it's that's the process. That's the process. No, but, but what I'm saying, here's what bro, I'm saying. I didn't take lessons. You didn't take lessons either. Drumming. Oh. Hey, wait, wait a minute. I took lessons. Drumming, bro. Drumming, <laughs> drumming, bro, yeah. drumming no, is there, catching bro. the beat and getting and going for it, bro. Come on, man. Okay, but see, you but see what I'm saying to you is, yeah, I'm a, I'm a read here because I seen it. But what I'm saying is, okay, look. I, I I believe this. What did he say? I'm I'm gonna read it because I, I read it already, but I'm gonna read it out loud. Um, what I'm saying is, okay, I've been a counselor all my life. Mm. When I say all my life, bro, I'm talking like since yeah. knee high to a grasshopper, a counselor, right. bro, right? And and people took it as, oh, he's the leader. He's right. the, you know, right. but I was a counselor and I was able to influence people, right? And so then as I got older. Bro, and when I say these things, there are certain things that is our purpose. Playing drums is your purpose. Mm -hmm. right, right. Okay? I was being, this is unheard of. I was being yeah. let out of prison, bro, on a weekly basis to go to schools and talk to kids. It's unheard of. Wow. Exactly. Do you understand what I'm saying? On the yes. gas mask tripod. You see what I'm saying? So when, when you talk about, I had uh, no reason. instructions on how to counsel. Yeah. It was a gift that God placed in me. Yeah. I dropped out of school basically the 10th grade. 
I didn't go back to school until I was incarcerated, which you see me building the tables. I could do wow. arc welding, janitorial service, auto mechanics. I could rebuild that. an engine. Yeah. I could I could do all kind of stuff. But I that was a skill because our hands, certain people's hands can do things. Yeah. But counseling. Bro, the approach to counseling, and you know this, the approach to counseling is not a system. It's mm -hmm. not systematic. Bro, you pull things from here, here, here to reach every kid. It's so crazy where it, where right, it comes from. Right, right. So no one taught me that. I went back to school and started getting degrees, certifications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only because somebody said, oh, you can't get in unless you have this. Damn, I need a degree to do what I'm so good at? You see what I'm saying? You need the credentials to show that oh, because you know how to do it doesn't mean that they'll let you. They want to see right. the credential. Then right. what sucks is they'll take someone over you that has no experience but really says, oh, here I got the credentials for it, right. and they'll take them when you could do a Absolutely. better job. So, so Walt said, yeah. being raised in the projects in Compton in the late '80s and all through the '90s got you caught up in that lifestyle. But we always had a choice. I did a lot, and Biz know some of the some of it. But I had a few mentors that showed me the way out when I became of age. I realized we always had a choice. Now let me say this: mm -hmm. I have to say this. Choice and options is two totally different things. Yep. yep. Choice is something you yeah. you you consciously make a decision yeah. to yeah. choose. Exactly. Now, up until and, and going back on what you said. I realized up until 13, I had no choice. I had no options. Exactly. It's what the family said. And that's what. Once goes, I've earned yeah. my respect and I had a voice, choice came into play. Exactly. Yeah. And I chose to continue that lifestyle. Or, 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 or you know what? I didn't choose to get an ass whooped, and my grandmother whooped my ass. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's okay. not a choice. Well, it is a choice because you could have chose not to mess <laughs> up. Oh, I could have chose not to get the right switch. <laughs> Being a kid, though, you ain't gonna choose. Yeah, to exactly. Switch, nigga. And yeah. Going out there to find a thick ass switch wasn't well, likely. If she was like my mom, she's like, "Go oh, give me three of them," because she know you'll get the thinnest, and she braid them together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm but, saying? <laughs> but go ahead, my bad, man. Go no, ahead. no, no. It's all good. Yeah, absolutely. I, like back to what we were talking about with you, I think with also with your situation, even though I don't know you, but just right. from what was talking right now, everything that we do is to get to get the attention of the people that we love yep. and the Absolutely. people who give us energy and their love. Right. So yep. we gon' gang bang if we're only around gang if bangers. That, if that if, gives us acceptance. If that gives us the acceptance, because yeah. we want that certainty you that, that they give us. With. That's yeah. we all, as humans, that's what we search for. We just want yeah. certainty. I yeah. just want to make sure that you gonna love me for who I am, yeah. even if I have to be somebody that I'm not. That I'm not. You know exactly. what I mean? And so that's a lot of times. You, 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 you know what? I look at your words as everything because I didn't discover that until way later. Because yeah. I, I was just go to a way later. No, I was just doing <laughs> we just everything. found out. Yeah. No, because I was yeah. just doing drums just for drums. Just because I was there. Just because I was just flowing with the wind. Yeah. And I was just great and at have fun, bro. But yeah. there's that was and th there was a piece. Yeah. So you can tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead. When you play drums at a young age, regardless of what your mindset was, there was a piece. Now I, I'm a, I'm gonna change that word piece. You <laughs> enjoy doing it. Exactly. And that was the peace. Right. That, that was the, the comfort. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, for me, gangbanging was a peace at that time. For Not that you, nothing was going on in the house. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and it was it was my acceptance. We all want to be accepted. Right. And yeah. the more you played them drums, the parents were like, whoa, you good. We need to put you on tour. But you know exactly. what I learned, too? I, I, what I learned, and this is what you're speaking on, like learning something through the process. I learned that every... 250 shows for five years, I'm sorry, seven years straight, I learned the ownership. I learned, oh, they're not going to pick the drums up. You got to do it. Oh, yeah, you yeah. got to perform your ass off and you got to pick your own shit up and yeah. put it back in the van. Yeah. Responsibility. Yeah. It's yeah. Res like ownership, responsibility. Yeah. It's levels, yeah. Like there's levels to this in which those are the things that I learned after about carrying your own weight knowing who you are. So there's things that, like, I feel personally like yourself, yes, the inspiration is good for it. We need that. We need to be able to go on and see, you know, daily reminders. You to know let us mean? know it's okay. It's a daily yeah. reminder. Yeah. You know, exactly yeah. what it means. It's a daily reminders. 
I was thinking like, bro, we got to get you a fucking big ass meme that says daily remind. Mm. So everybody fucking know it's a daily reminder. Well, you know what it is? Right. It's also consistency, people, and that's right. what he has. He's but, every day consistent. Even on the holidays, I went respect. and looked back on all his videos. <laughs> Christmas, he didn't give a damn. He said, this yeah. morning, I will let y'all know. Y'all need to be reminded too. I like that, bro. You, you bought motivation. See, doing that that's what I like Thank about Sean. She is a private. I would hate to be her man. Right, right. You right. understand I was just me? The same thing. She cracking phone codes, social security you know accounts. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. She said December no. 2018. No, 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 no. You did yep. this. No. Respect no. Yep. On, de yep. on December 2018, you had on a pair yes. of briefs and they was crusty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody didn't like you, but you, you, know? did, you still did let me, it. Let me tell you something. You that is the only person I don't investigate. What? That is the only, you want to know why? Because you go find some shit out, you know? No, 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 no. Exact, well, exactly. But I'm Wait so minute. respected around these areas. It will come to me. And just know when I find out, you check me. I'm going to put on my very white voice. Nigga, don't you believe that bullshit. <laughs> don't you believe she ain't looking into your I'm ass? Not. I don't need to. <laughs> you want to know why? It's called confidence. See, I think men are right. so used to dealing right. with women that are insecure. I'm not. No, see, I never dealt with a woman like that. Uh, Shit. But we gonna get back to the show. That's yeah. enough. That's next week. That's next week. That's next week topic. But look, Walt, Walt said Walt said something that I really like. He said there's always a difference in having a choice and being given a choice to make that choice. One thing is we have a choice, but for some of us. At a certain age, wasn't given a choice. 100%. And he said 100%. that exactly how I feel it. Yeah, Because exactly. I wasn't given a choice. I was told. And in telling me, they gave me two choices. Gangster or player. Yep. Exactly. Or pimp, now you, whatever. Now you have you know, but, 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 right. But same time, if you even want to choose. <laughs> but even, even, even as a child, you want to choose one of those choices. You see how the parent. Hey nigga, you go do this. Yeah, you right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it like, is, like, okay? like, like, it was so crazy, bro. Like, back in, back my in the nigga, '80s, man. Hey, my nigga's so gone. Yeah, back in the <laughs> '80s, man. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you know, like, I used to have long hair, so I would have like one yeah, braid in the what? middle. Did you have the jury curl? Did you? I have the tail. Hey, bro, bro, bro. He had the tail. For me, no, no, look, look. Absolutely, I had the perm. Wait, wait, I had the press and curl. Oh, I had the perm and I had the Jerry curl. Oh my God! Wow. I, I, I you understand what I'm saying? Well, and mean, look, my my my, my my perm and or press and curl. It was all curly up here in the back. I used to have moms tuck it in like like a feather. Oh, what? bro, we was fly. We was fly. I gotta see that, bro. So you gotta remember, I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a '60s baby. He, he too you know what I mean? He too gay. Yeah, yeah. He you see what I'm saying? I, look, I can tell you, I can tell you the year I cut my Jerry curl off. What year is that? 1997. Okay. Oh, wow. See what I'm saying? And, and, and my hair was like beginning down here. You know what I mean? Damn. But when it when it curl start, like what year is that? '80s nigga. Oh, I can't, it's a black dude who invented it. Uh, my. But yeah, uh, shit. The curl started way back in hey, Temptations. Hey man, Billy, huh? Billy yeah. D. Williams. No, Michael Jackson had a curl though. I thought <laughs> man, Temptations it was, was before. It, come on, Temptations, temptations bro. They had yeah. curls for Mike. It, it was in the sixties, sixties and seventies. Yeah, they did. They did. Sixties and seventies. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Deploy, deploy. I'm sorry. No, we good. No, no. Deploy, please. No, because we we were talking about like choices and options, right? You have a few questions that you want to ask. Well, you know what? I kind of like the way that we're feeding off of, too. I mean, we can ask more questions, but this vibe is dope, too. Go ahead. If you got a question, go ahead. Because we can't go for too long. Okay, okay. No, we finna go. We, we'll be done in 10 minutes. Okay. Right. Okay. If you got a question, I'll let it go ahead. But we need deploy. Uh, deploy ain't tripping. He think like, okay, what's open? Because Dr. Phil said a meal. I'm going to get a meal out of here before I go. <laughs> I'm like, Randy's right up the street. I'll just get a donut. Uh, we, cool. deploy, deploy. we can go to Randy's go to after Randy's. the show, bro. Deploy, I, 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 That's it. I, I, deploy, I don't know this, this question. I don't ask you like, off the air. I need a rapper. How did you become a motivational speaker? Be an Good MC. Question. How does that I'd how say that, that So it really spawned from the music that I was writing. Okay. Because the music that I was writing always had an uplifting, positive message behind it. Okay. So it's like, no matter what, it's like, 
One of my choruses from my first album was like, it all starts with you, no one else. Knowledge yourself, then you can help others. My sisters and brothers, let's uplift, y'all. Let's uplift. So it's like, there's always been that message in the music. And I didn't realize it, because like you said, God was speaking, because we all just conduits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's so, it. So, so when exactly. the spirit is speaking through me, when the universe is channeling what it's supposed to, I just present it. You know what I mean? And so from that, I would always have people after shows like, I would go and Thank do shows yeah. in the Midwest where, like Biz was talking about, it, it ain't nobody, it, it ain't a minority in fifty mile bro, radius. Bro. Like I, I would be the, oh, I would be the darkest person there. I'm, I'm light skin, bro. <laughs> I'm light skin. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a light skin Mexican. So my yeah. folks is like, they thrown off by it, but then they hear the music and they hear the message, and all of a sudden they come up to me after the show and they like, man. I feel like you just converted me. Like, I like rap music now. That's dope. And it's like, word, I feel like I'm out on a mission. Like, you know, I'm, I'm spreading the word right you now. Like, I'm doing and so you like, understand right. that it's not all about shaking asses and busting pistols and no. jewelry. Like, there, there could it's be something talk. else behind. You, you ever heard of Public that. Enemy? Yes. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you ever yeah, heard yeah, of Brand yeah, Nubian? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you ever heard I, of, you know, you ever, th th there's a message behind it. And yeah. so I grew up with that school. And you brought it back. And so and I was just... Yeah. You realize I was, people listening to what yeah. you're saying. I'm and so I like just... That. I had a friend, because I would always post inspirational memes, and I just had a, 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 a friend, a, a great friend, who was like, you should do a video because you always that, that's been my thing since I was a kid like oh, you said yeah, yeah, yeah. the counselor's always been in me like I've right. always been that person to listen to other folks like you have problems yeah. I want to know what your problems is not because it's because I care yeah. you right. know what I mean that it's I don't know if it's, that, if it's that empathy or what but it's yeah. like I want to feel because again like we were talking earlier I'm going to learn from everything I listen to no matter yeah. who it is right. no matter what they're saying I'm going to learn from it, it. even if it's something that I don't agree with yeah I'm going to learn right. exactly. from it you know what I mean yeah, so that's, that was that's me that's how yeah. I am when I come in the room that's it's dope. like yeah. even though yeah I can be the lead or whatever I'm still want to learn because you got open ears. I got open ears, yeah. and I'm always open ears. Like me, I'm I'm this. I don't make decisions right off bat. Some people say that's bad because you don't know what you want. I say no. Oh, we gotta I'm scoop it out though first. Yeah, you can't just throw it out there. Hey, right. that's the gray right. area. There's right. some gray. There's right. Right. Always, right. It was always put you out the bullshit. I got on my gray right. today just for the right. just for, you I know. I looked down and oh no, I got black. Never mind. So, no, just, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Disclaimer. We had somebody on the show that was talking about gray shades and how he don't keep any gray in his life. And he burned all his gray shades, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. What's Why crazy. Didn't give them away. I know. And they no, were both wearing gray shirts at the time. It was happening. I know. And that, that was the crazy part. But anyway, go ahead, Walt. What did Walt say? Oh, he said a lot. He said, bro, I used to gangbang, uh, run the streets. Uh, doing certain crimes in and out of jail, fought a life sentence and won, but yeah. Yeah. that was a blessing from God. I learned a lot, yeah. especially from yes. the OGs in jail. Then, or then, once traveling and seeing the country change my mind frame with the, with the courtesy of the majority, I'm kind of tipsy, y'all. Okay. Majority That's big okay. mentors Com from Compton changed my mind Frame. Biz was at every court date except the last That's one dope. when I was hey, fighting a life bro. sentence. What the fuck wrong you know? with you, nigga? <laughs> really? What you, really, Walter? What the fuck? Hold on. What the fuck? Nigga? Really, Walter? <laughs> really, Walter? <laughs> you gonna leave out the last one, Walter? Except the last one. Damn it, Walter. Just but, damn it. You know, you you know the the horse, you hey, look, look, look. He give you a compliment and then he takes Take it you away, you know. Me. <laughs> oh, you know why? Because he was the muscle. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, well, was, was Walter the one you were talking shit about that said, "Hey, he fucked up one time"? Because he letting you know you fucked up one time. See all that shit that you did. And you all that good shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm with you, bro. Whoa, man, nigga. Hey, nigga, I'm done after this show. Nigga, I'm done, son. Oh, hey, but you know what though? Um, uh, again, I was though. I was there. again. I nobody, was there. and this goes for everybody. Now, this is something that I can actually generalize, and it's yeah. factual for everybody. Yeah. Oh, we do song. not get up until we realize we have hit ground zero. Yeah. And can't nobody pick us up. And that's I called wouldn't. catching a blessing. Only God can, because as soon as you, you know hit saying? rock bottom. He throws it at you and said, this is where you count your blessing, and it's up to you to ride with it yep. or to fuck it up again. And, 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 and the thing and is, that, yeah. a friend of mine said this to me. She said, 
from the time you're conceived, mm-hmm. before you even an embryo, whatever it is before that, God has placed in you everything you need yep. to be who you are. A man, right. a woman, a who you, you are. Even yeah. if you don't have a father, even right. if you don't have a mother, right. even if you wasn't taught how to play drums, yep. he right. given each and every one of us skills. Yep. And they don't manifest until we begin to understand our purpose. Right. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And so when you start tapping into that stuff and then your purpose is like, oh, well, this is my purpose. Oh, I'm supposed to be a counselor. Yep. I wasn't so, man, I was a hell of a football player. Right. Yep. I wasn't supposed to be in the NFL. Right. I was supposed to go to jail. I was supposed to gang bang. I was supposed wow. to go through all that shit wow. to reach the young people because wow. God had a purpose for me. Okay. There's that call. Okay. Cause yeah. So, so came both of you guys. Walter, I feel Walter is like both of you guys. He's a guy that's lived your life as a musician, an entertainer, motivational speaker, but he's lived your life as been dealing with the, the violence, the prison system, whatever. And I remember the day. And you know what? The last day he's talking about that I wasn't there was the day that he got out. From actually looking at a life sentence. Right. He beat a life sentence. I was with him the whole fucking way. But what I'm saying is I feel like cats like y'all, y'all can influence a water to unveil. You know what I mean? Yes, we might mm-hmm. have our lives. We might have the things. And I feel like this is where the need comes in. This is where that spark fire, where that you know what I mean? Spark fire and ass. Like, no, get your ass up. You got to put your story out there because no one is hearing it. I tell them that all the fucking time, bro. Right. You got to tell people this story. You know how many people you can uplift? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Just by telling you know, them that? No, 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 I do feel, I feel like he probably does because that's his personality. I feel like no, no, feel, no, no, no. I'm saying how no. could they both help a person like Walter that came from such a tragic background, you know what I mean? How can he go forward? What would you say to a Walter to push him forward? Like, daily reminders. But it's a daily Walter. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. What would you... I'd say, for real, the best thing is to know that he does have a story. Walt, you got a story that people need to hear and that they want to hear and that you could save somebody's life by sharing your story. For real, because... All of us again have a story that could, if we can save one person's life oh, man. during our time yeah, on preach. this earth, exactly. That's all we need to do. Preach. That's it right there. Yes. But if we can save more than one, if that one person could save one person and that one person can save one person, it just better, keep going bro. and keep Y'all multiplying. Yeah. Oh man, Sorry. now it's on. Right. Now it's game on. Yeah. And so he has that story. Well, you got that story to tell for real, but it's about dedicating the time. Exactly. To do you, that. Right. And, that see, and seeing yes. that, like Phil said, that calling. You know what I mean? There's that calling there. So cool. You can have this passion where I love music, but then I have the calling yeah. of exactly. that I need right. to be right. a speaker. I need to get out and do this. Because like, you know cool. what? You didn't have the mentor. Okay. We had to go through the hard part, right. and you took it upon yourself and said, you know what? I'm going to share this knowledge. Right. I'm not going to keep it right. to myself. Oh, yeah. I'm going right. to do this because as for me, my dad died when I was one and a half. My wow. mom walked out when I was 12. Ooh. So I had to go ahead, and I started working when yeah. I was 13 years old, and wow. I had to take care of my grandma and my uncle. No which, wonder you were thug. Mom, I love you, but, uh, thug, yeah. you know, we good now. Powerful. We good now. Powerful. We rekindled yeah. oh, that, that's everything. That's a I said, I'm blessed you went through it, but you went through it and... I went through it. It made me a stronger person. But it is a blessing, though, and that's it what is. I'm saying. We yes, we take negatives as negative. No, exactly. If no. you if you wouldn't have went through that, you wouldn't have became who you are. Who I am now, and to be honest, I saw the light before other people. Right. So now that I see people struggling, I said, "Listen, I found the way. Let me show you. I'm not greedy, and that's what influencers are. They're people that are not greedy because there's a ton of people that know the answer." But See, so, so you're giving them too much. Next week, we're going to have just us <laughs> on the panel. No. We ain't gonna have Yo, no but Walt, Walt was saying that he does give his story yeah. and share it. Yeah, that's uh, what in I'm saying. person. Right. He, he does exactly. do that. So right. you would, No, I'm I, with him. No, I, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I know Walt does that. But yeah, I'm right. telling Walt, you know, in the Bible it says, if they if the heathen shall not hear, dust your feet off and keep moving. Right, right, right. So <clears> that's what I be telling Walt. Walt, you giving... Million dollar game, mother. They, look, he's just gonna do the same shit. But but wait, let me say you this to you. Uh, but wait, but, but wait, 
Wait, no, no, listen, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say this to you, bro. Let me say this to you. I, I, I agree with you partially because here's what I here's what I learned. I'll never forget this. 1985. I was in Central Juvenile Hall. A priest came and was talking to me. He was talking to me about God. My nickname is Devil. I want to hear about God. I mean, I, I was raised in church. Mm -hmm. I asked him, have you ever had your lights turned off? Have you ever went without food? Do you know what it's like yep. to have to wear somebody else's clothes because you right. ain't got yep. none? You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And he said no, and I shut him down. Right. Mm -hmm. But he was the first person to ever tell me God truly loves you for who you are mm -hmm. and right where you are. Right. Yes. That was 1986, 85. You see what I'm saying? I will never forget that. So what I agree, the Bible says do not cast your pearls to swine. People think that means like don't flaunt your money in front of people or things like that. Yeah. But that also means your gifts. That also means the things that he's blessed you with. But you have to understand until you tap in to God's spirit, you don't really know who to give your gift to because God tells you when to give it yep. and when not to give it. You see what I'm saying? But when you don't know, you give it to everybody, and that's called a burnout period. And it but drains you. That's, that's it drains your energy. So, and, yeah. and actually, you're saying what I'm saying. Right. Really. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I said because, I agree with you partially. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what Walter does. Right. Like, I feel like he gives this energy to these people who are literally not going to change. And I used to always tell me, me and him would have fights, my nigga. Like, for, I'm like, bro. You're so smart that this young, like this person can't even see it. They're not even willing. Okay. Like at least let them have the heart and the will. But they're going to get it later though. Exactly. He planted a seed. Okay, seed. Check, exactly. Check. Check. Yes. He planted yes. a word later. Check. He's going to get it. Yes. yes. Check. So by the time he gets it, it uh, most likely be. Even if he's in prison, bro. bro, bro. bro. No, no, I, no, I didn't no. get a lot. I didn't get a lot, bro. Bro. Until I was in prison in a cell and I said, I'm tired of being sick and tired of being tired. What the hell did that mean at that time? I couldn't tell you. But, you know now. but I know now that it meant I'm changing on the inside. Uh, yeah. I, exactly. And it's time to grow and become different. Okay. So I'm, like, I'm like me, I might be a little, very, very comfortable. Teach me to play drums right now and it might be a dead seed planet. But teach me to play drums at 15. No, I'm saying if you taught me to play drums at 15 and I rebelled against it, I guarantee you, five, ten years later, I'll be that dude as everybody's in the crypt module, the blood module. But, but exactly. You the beat man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. But, okay. but that's proving okay. my actual point. Like, you know, that's proving the point of when you're under it and you're seen by it. What I'm saying is when you have an, a, a, a person like a Walter that's going around multitude of people and teaching people, it's, that's not... Like, Jesus didn't sit on every corner and preach to the same people. They were not hearing it. He got up and moved to the next. Right. That was the mission. Keep moving. Keep right. talking to the ones that will hear. You're not going to get everybody, but you're going to get the ones that hear. But think they about it. They don't want to hear it. But, uh, go ahead, please. bro. My thing is this. He going to have to keep doing it because somebody going to listen. Yeah, you can't. You no, can't. They, no, no, they you, are. you can't give up they, on the youth. Are. You can't. You can't, yeah. you can't give up on the youth because no, no they go to transitions. The they go to well, mindsets. no, the way it comes off is like you're picking and choosing who could be told this and who can't. So exactly. it's, just, it's just like no, church no, is open. No, that's that. that which, but here's walk. what I think. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm talking to ten fucking kids, my nigga. If I'm talking to ten kids and I got another batch of ten kids up in the front, right? Yeah, that I talk to. Okay, but only. Five of these kids get my point. I'm gonna take the five and keep moving to the next ten. That's and fine. But all right, but but, but now, 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 wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. That's no, no, no. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's not a gave up. When they catch on, they catch on. It might take them two years. It might take the other one five. It might take one two months. Okay, when I agree. they catch on, they catch yeah, on. Yeah, I agree. And I get you. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. I'm saying, but you can't sit in the rut and keep. Continuing to All right, now, 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 to. now, let me say this as a counselor. Everywhere I've ever gone, everywhere, I've got what was considered the worst of the worst. Now, here's, here's how I operate. If I got 10 kids and five get it, guess what I do? I pay them less attention. I focus on the five that didn't get it. 
Exactly. Because they got it, and they're going to continue to hit. This is me. This is my method. Right, yeah, right, exactly. Right, right. Okay? And I focus on the five that didn't get it. You know why? Because those are the five that's going to be drive-by shooters, yep. getting life. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And they, they. And my purpose is this. At the end of the day, you can never say, because see, I can say nobody never told me. You can never say nobody never told me, because I was there. I held your hand. I got, Dude, I've been writing dudes for 27 years. This December will be 28 years that I've been home. And I've been writing dudes ever since, bro. Let's go, let's go. Thank God for the computer, because now I can type faster than I can write. But I don't give up on the ones that don't see the daylight. And the reason why I don't is because, bro, all I saw was darkness. All I was mm -hmm. anger. I was angry because I didn't have a father. Right. I was angry because I didn't get what other kids got during Christmas. You see what I'm saying? So if somebody would have hung in there with me, maybe I would have, maybe I would not have. Yeah. But if somebody would have hung in there with me, I might have just done something different. Just yeah, a little extra. extra. Let's say you got that well, nephew well, well. that you've been known for the past 10 years. Every time you see him, game to him, right? Now the nephew is like 30 now. Nephew still in the same rut. You go, <laughs> no, 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 you go, you're but, telling me a true well, story. Because, my because, nephew, right, my name is Diablo. Then, He's infant Diablo. He's the last. I got eight no, other no, Diablos no, under me. No, Listen, hold on. Listen, let me tell you a true story. He became a tagger. I told okay. my homies, I said, go get that nigga. Right. He banging Tagger crew? Right. Put that nigga on the hood. This is how vicious I was. Wow. Put him on the hood. Oh, wow. He's 34 today. He got put on about 16. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And to this day, he's a general of the tiny lokes in my neighborhood. The general. He runs them. I'm in his ear constantly. Wow. Constantly. Yeah. Because there's two things I know. One, I'm the one who put him on the hood. I should have made him go to college. Right. Two, you got stand. Two, he respect me to the fullest. My words is golden to him. Right. I can't say stop gang banging and go get a job right now. No, because he's not there. Right. Yeah. But hey, bro, he's it's working. Take time, but you're consistent. He's a security yeah. guard. He got a couple of children. He's still involved with the hood. Yeah. But he's still trying to do something different and or better. I can't let go. Because that's a product of me. I gave birth to him in a that's sense a, of no, that's amazing. putting him on the hood. Yeah. That's amazing. So, so, so I, I just can't give up because I know when you know the damage you caused in your community, yeah. there's no such thing as giving up. You don't have no. the right to give up. Mm. It's Absolutely. not even a choice yeah. or an option. Absolutely. It's till death because that's what you claim when you was in the streets. Yeah. I, I, what, what I learned is what you just said. Say, when I don't, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you can't be forceful. Can't be forceful. They go get it when they get it. When they're okay? ready. When they're ready, go yeah. get it. But what you can do is keep other people. Yeah. Okay. If, if, yeah. if a youngster get it, homeboy to get it. Right. Be on his side. Right. Because Walter saying? laughs at me. Is Walter that? laughs at me all the time. He's like, bro, you are the most non-patient person when it comes to teaching. You have to be patient with kids, bro. You have no, to. No, 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 no. See, I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Kids at an <laughs> elementary school is different from kids in the streets. Two different people. I get it. I get it, bro, bro. That's All I'm saying is though. when you're talking inspiration and you want to inspire kids, you got to be these kids now. I, I'm, you, gotta, I'm, I'm dude, you know what it is? I, He's talking about immature. He's yeah, talking yeah. about immature. It doesn't matter what the well, age I'm is. Talking He's talking about, about from kids. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you you go a, this, you're not going to deal with no immature person day in, day out. Whether this is my thing, bro, 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 bro. This is my thing. I have a dude that's with a son, bro. Bro, let me say something. he does that. No, let me say something. He has a son. If you give up on somebody, you can explain it to I'm, him. I'm, I'm this not giving up on him. Well, no, I'm going to say that. When you can explain it to him, you say, no, fuck it, I'm going to explain it kid. They used to everybody doing the same thing over again. Yeah. They said, fuck it. I'm gonna keep moving. They use that. It's keep like you know what? Give me, but I trying to do some shit or attempt to do some shit. You have to be on the kid consciously. Because Sometimes it takes a little extra. It's, it's not extra. Okay. It's my it's my you, games. It's a lot of things you can do for a kid. You gotta go beyond for a child. This thing, this thing about me, I've been a big brother for fucking seven years. Okay, what I learned is if you understand, you know, Nabla is yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know I what do. that is? I do. Hold on a second. Well, I want you to say this. Once you understand a kid, 
Listen, once you understand the kid, if you really truly understand the kid perspective of life, what he's been through, how he think, how he feel, situations, if you understand a child and no judgment, no judgment at all, you say, you know, I get it, I understand it, I feel you, a kid open up to you. That's the fight. Some of these kids have been through a lot of drama that we can never experience. They're not open books. You got to crack the shell. Um, you think you've been through the worst? You think you've been through the worst? You think I you've been the worst? Out. Kids have been through, they now in time, been through the worst shit ever right okay, now. Okay, now, now I'm going to be an ass. Kids, kids only know what they're taught. They only know what they're taught. Yeah, that's what I'm so trying to only say. Kids are young I, don't, I don't know anything. I can only be a reflection of what you show me. If I'm a kid that grew up around rich white folks, that's very sedidious shit, I'm going to be what? To diddy as shit at the age of five and six. I don't know anything different. You know what I mean? Right. So all I'm saying is when you're showing a child something, the representation is everything. So if you are that, some kids take heat, some kids don't. I'm not saying just kids. I'm saying teenagers, adults, old people. It's the maturity of the brain is what I'm saying. You're not going to sit around too long to keep telling a person, that they are doing a good thing by washing their teeth. No, you know what I mean? No, Every single no, day. And that's no, just something no, stupid. But in, in a but, child's life, a child's life, bro, that's a different story. Hey, I'm not talking about a child here. A kid. I'm teenager, talking about everybody. a teenager, a hey, grown-up. Let me add this. I, I'll tell you this. And what you see. Um, you saying grown-ups. I'm saying and... and, and no, and, no. And I mean, I, I, I know with kids, that, that's my specialty. But with grown-ups... I haven't done my show in a couple of weeks, and I, and I purposely don't do my show sometimes. But I get inboxes. Yo, what's going on, man? You ain't done your show. I need that. You know what I'm saying? I look forward to getting that, right? Then, like right now, we do, we do uh, uh, it's called Microsoft Teams, where we do video chats with the kids in juvenile hall. Bro, all week. Tuesday through third, Tuesday through Friday, kids is acting up. They ain't paying no attention to the teachers. Yeah. On Monday at ten fifteen, when I sign in, bro, yo, we here, we here. What's up? What's up, big homie? What's up? Exactly. They're in jail. Full fledged gang members. I don't know them from the streets, but they want to hear what I got to say. Right. The they home. respect you. You see what I'm saying? Right. And and the That's thing it. is, when you're talking to people, you don't know who's identifying with your story with your comments Absolutely. and and, you know and, and yeah. so you can't give up now i understand what you're saying but because this is my field and i tell people this is my retirement plan this is not my job this is my retirement plan i enjoy it that much so when a person goes out and they sharing a story they sharing good information with everybody See, you can go into a music world and talk about music all day and be at home. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I'll stand there next to you and be like, hey, Fizz, what they talking about? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Who is that? that right. oh. That's you see what I'm saying? If you gave me, but if you gave me five okay. days, I can speed you up in like you right. at least 10 years. Right, yeah. but I got to be receptive to it. Right, exactly. And that's, but, that's, what, and that's what Walter is saying. Right, I, and I, what, I, I, but I what I'm saying to you is if you don't give up, whether it's five days or five exactly. years, you, you might look up and be like, damn, Phil is the greatest drum player. Man. Yo, these kids go through shit, bro. You know what I mean? Right. Because this is, let me say it this way. Because this is not your purpose. I understand your mission. Right. Yeah. Your mission is I got to give you this information. I yeah. need you to grasp it. If you can't, I got to keep moving because I don't have time to sit for you. Because that's not your purpose. Right. Yeah. See, your purpose is giving people the music that God gave you to give. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I understand the lack of, for a better word, the lack of patience you have waiting on those five who didn't get it. And exactly. that's why somebody like me will come along and say, oh, these five? Let me have these five. But, but you know, that's depends. what Watson yeah. tells me. And, and, and I think this is kind of where you guys really work great at. Watson tells me that. He says, Biz, you're not, like, you're not built like me. Right. I can do that. Like, there's relationships that people who I've, and he could tell you, I've knocked off the relationships Five years ago, and watchers yeah. still know this nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and dope. like, you it's know nice, what I mean? It's nice, dope nice. as fuck. But 
But that lets me know where I'm great at. Yeah. That lets me know where he's great at. Right. right. Obviously, I'm not great where he's great at. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. That's what so makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, Everybody has yeah. their yeah. thing. And that's why I wanted to read what he said, because he said right here, he said, you can only talk to the ones that you have lived their life. If you live their life and right. been through what they're going through, those are the ones that you can never give up on. So what it is, is like, yeah. like, for instance, I had my family walk out on me. For instance, people being locked up. For instance, so it all depends, like, there's somebody for everybody. I think that's what he's trying to say. And it's like, if that's something that you specialize in, they go listen because you've been there. But now, if you sit there with somebody that hasn't been through what you've been through, they go listen to you. Right. Because you but can't tell them. You know them what? Yeah. I, I want to add this. You know? I, I agree, like, 90% of that. Okay. That 10% is this. What do you okay. agree with, Deploy, after this? I have talked to kids that never walked my walk ever in life, bro. Okay. Touch them. That's what I'm okay. at. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That's and and, and they was like, well, I'm damn. Say, I'm going to say how you did it. That's you see what I'm I saying? Say and so for me, because I don't care who you are. You notice if we talking about kids and counseling, I get all into it. You know yeah, what I mean? Because that's my passion. Your feel. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? What, yeah. And so I went to Beverly Hills High. And told them kids, like, look, man, y'all doing all this dumb shit. Oh, did I just curse? My back is this how we get out in the hood. So I'm going to talk exactly. to y'all the way y'all talk to each other when your parents are not around. And all of a sudden, everybody in the, the gym go them. quiet. Yeah, the whole respect. Now, them. listen, like, man, ooh, your like parents that. get mad at y'all, and they go buy y'all a Maserati. Our parents get mad at us for something we did. We get a beat down. Exactly. 100. You know, and after the show, it's like, hey, uh. Mr. Field, can I can I get your number? Mr. Field, can I? You know, yeah, you can get it. I know they're not going to be hitting me up because they they're not going to hit me up as much because they can't they can't accept the hardcore truth like the people yeah. from the hood can. Yeah. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? But here's the fact: I never lived in Beverly Hills. I've never been like them, sort of speak. Yeah. But you can reach somebody even if you haven't walked in their shoes. Okay. Because when you're walking in your purpose, bro. God is taking over. Like when he said he do his lyrics, right? And he's blood. a vessel. When you a vessel, bro, and God step in, right. you can reach anybody. Because you're doing yeah. what? Convicting I know that's the true. soul. You're right with that. You're convicting the soul, and that's yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. that holds attached. That's the thing that says, "Oh, he got me." Now it might be ten of my homies, yeah, 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 and he right. probably only get three of us. Or one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. You, but you, as long as you get one, get it was worth saying. As long as you get one. And here's the killer part. <clears throat> you at the moment you may not get none, bro. Right. And look, here's here's what my homies would do to me. Hey, yo, uh, what's up, homie? Hey, uh, man, I'm you know, I'm going to court tomorrow, man. Can you can you can, can we pray? Right, what the right, fuck? Right. Nigga. And they be like, bro, you've been going to church since we was kids. Your mama made us go to church yeah. with y'all. I know you know how to pray. But I didn't reach him during a conversation, but I did reach him. He may not be talking about, let's, let's take me to go get a job, but, but just based on the fact that he's asking for prayer, prayer is asking for help, bro. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm it saying? Is. And so even if, even if it's not the type of help you expect, like help me get out of a game, it may be help me pray. Just the fact that you got enough, as God said in the Bible, a much faith is a mustard seed. That's that mustard seed coming to me. And I'm saying, okay, God, he asked me to pray. I, I got to be on point right now. I'm going to need you because it got to soothe his soul. No, that's facts. That's yeah. facts. Yeah. I'm glad you conclude that's that right. for us, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to let you that was speak perfect. Again, so I like we can that. end it with I, deploy. I, I, one thing is, it's about understanding that teenage. Uh, who will be talking so, hold on. You say you know what Nambla is? Okay. <laughs> So <laughs> Ben is always you be in the middle of making a statement. He he like, ask you a question. <laughs> no, because we talked earlier. He said you know what Nambla is. Yeah, and if you know I what don't. Nambla is, I don't either. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, like I'm, I do. I'm not <laughs> anyway. That's we not about that. Part. Like anyway, we leave that after the. Uh, I, 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 I don't, don't want to put that on air. Though, bro. Yeah, that's, I don't want to put that on air. That's a whole different conversation. Not ready for that though. That's yeah. I don't want to put that on air. I but. My point I want to make with you right now, even little kids, I'm just saying, I'm good with teenagers. Yeah, I'm good right. with them. You know why? But right. understand what they say. Right. I'm gonna fuck you. Grew up in a hood. You had white privilege. You had a no father. I try to understand exactly what you're going through. I listen. Okay, you have to listen to the child. 
teenager and understand what they're going through. Yeah. And, and I don't judge them. You judge me with a child or talk to you. You can't judge them. You know what? It is what it is. I understand what you're going through. Just to answer after that. You know what I'm but, but. But keep going. I just looked up now, but I'm like, what the freak? <laughs> keep going. <laughs> it's all, it's all I didn't want to go into that. Let's see that happen. Phil, Phil, opening some shit. He said, 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 but no, no, that was me because I was speaking about late teens and young adults about what I was talking about. But yeah. Nambla ain't got it. Yeah, right. But that's anyway, that's go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just looking it up. I, 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 I'm, just confused. Confused. I'm confused. What we talking? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll buddy. talk about it off air. Yeah. It's totally left field. I don't know what it's going on. My thing is, when you understand that person, understand what they're going through, understand what their situation is, you can get through to them and say, understand what you gotta say. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a friend for them first. That's and facts. they have to trust you first, okay? That's if facts. the team don't trust yeah. you, they're going to fuck with you. Nope. Well, well, it's called you, you have to build right a relationship, a bond. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and that's yeah, the biggest to build problem. A bond, bro, to build that bond, I've been to places. No, see, listen. Can we man. have the guru see, to speak? Is can judge we not just, that's a guru right there. I'm over here in the game right now. I'm like, I'm going to sign up for classes. Listen, though, bro. Let me tell you something. The reason why I'm so successful at what I do with the youth is this, bro. I come in with two main things. People say, well, how are you going to work with this kid? They, I don't even read. When, when I go, when I get a client, they give me a file on him or her. Whatever their problems is, I'd be like, I don't want to see that shit. You know why? Because my mentor, Tom Pomerantz, who go all the way back when they were giving shock treatment for people who were called retarded back then. Right. Have come so far. Yeah. He said, Phil, you see the person first. Right. Yes. Then you, you see the disability see, exactly. or the problem right. or the challenges. Yes. Boom. Because so I love Down that's syndrome. The same thing I, right. That's the same thing I said. I think my, down my son, no, my son is cooler. autistic. No, so yeah. when I walk into a room. <laughs> that's the yeah. same thing I said was just understanding them. You know what I'm saying? Right. But what I'm saying is here's the thing. When I walk into a room, man, I'm a, even though I've been working with a lot of people forever. I'm still assessing their whole demeanor with this kid. Yes. And I'm sitting there like I ain't paying him or her no attention. I'm just writing, you know, and I'm I'm scribble scrabbling. But okay. to the person sitting over there, it's look like I'm writing. Yes. But I'm observing. Yes. And I look up every so often, and that kid is looking at me like, who are you? Trying to figure He's you more out. curious about me than yeah, I am about him. him. But you exactly. but you get his attention because of that. Though. But what I'm saying I get, is though. I use that as a yeah. ploy. Yeah. Yes. You say, hey, this t- I'm telling you, ploy? it never no, failed. No, 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 as a ploy. I get it. I get it. The ploy. The ploy. So <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> my approach is so unorthodox. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do before I get there. And this is what I love about my relationship with God, bro. Uh, yeah. It's not me. I'm not going to try to take no credit like I'm some super counselor. It's God, bro. When I sit down and the kid be talking and people be saying stuff, and I'll be like, hey, homie, look, look, homie, look. Let me let me, let me make something clear to you right now. That's exactly what I told I'm like, man, look, I'm not like none of these folks up in here. I told y'all I didn't put on boxing gloves with my clients exactly. and punch their lights out. Exactly. I didn't check my client's parents in front of my clients exactly. because the parents is usually the problem and not the client. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't let the clients know. When you with me, if you fighting, I'm fighting. That's exactly. the way we gonna roll. And you know what? Because I'm forming a bond without even telling them. Yeah, I, I, me teaching I, I, I at schools. That. I, I was teaching at it's schools with it's stars, and I was doing the same mother yeah. thing. I was telling the parents, "I love you, love your child, but check this out." I would get down with that little mofo if, you know, he crossed me again. Why? Because he has to stay in his lane. And if you don't give hard truth, they don't under... Do not go around here giving these kids some pampered shit. Bro, you know what they're I'm watching? Feeling, feeling toy. No, no, I done punched my client's bro, lights out. He, bro, he's, he's, under, he's understanding them, bro. He's understanding. Did you just hear what Phil said? I heard he said. What did he say right now? He just said, He understand. punched their motherfucking lights out. All I'm hey, saying. I, I, no, listen, and, it's, no, listen, you know and, what, and no, the reason it, why no, is. It varies from every kid. It's every not, kid varies. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is. No. This particular too, kid. No, you, no, that's sensitive. That's being very sensitive. No, no. When you grow up around kids. He has a technique. And you understand. He has a technique to get them to fucking. 
No, um, zone out and play my phone. I'm but those are rough adolescent my kids, game. though. So he has so to what, have that so type of approach. Talk, what kids are talking about? If he's talking, if he can't cut, he can't have that same approach with some suburban kids. He but I, I never, approach. no, no, listen to me, bro. No, he has a I never, bro, I no, never yes, have not, not, exactly, not that business. I never approach. have a particular approach. But observation. But once I get there, once I get there, you know what I'm saying? But, but. I don't care who it is, where you from. I'm going to let you know. I don't I don't never walk into a kid's life as Dr. Phil. Keep, no. Don't none of them call me that. Right, right. No. It's Mr. Phil. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when I walk yeah. in there, the, the one thing I, I always establish with kids, I am alpha male in this freaking room. Yes, you right. let them know who's boss. Period. Because yeah. no matter, we, we are the biggest animals on this planet. And if we, and, and if we don't establish our position early, Mm -hmm. The younger Cubs is going to take it from us. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And that's what happened. Oh, yeah. And that's what happened. Yeah. You, know? you know, the Cubs is taken, and now, you know, we got people running wild here. Yeah, and then you got a lot of homies that's misguiding homies. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can come and give the you good information, you right? Yeah. And then this homie... He was, oh man, I was talking to homie Ob, and Ob was saying I, I can do this and I can get a job. Nah, yeah. homie, look, man, you don't need no job. Look, you just need to get serious about slanging this dope, homie. Nah, and, well, man, you you have that. Right, like, you do. You do have that. And that's what I'm You know, you don't need to play no drums, biz. Nigga, come over here and knock these fools out, bro. You know that's what you love. I ain't gonna lie, I did love that shit. I did like that. Uh, <laughs> I was quick to put up hands. He got on. you. See, he knew because he no, knew he knew where to get us. No, but that's me. But that's what I'm saying. I'm See, about that life. But, if I was young like yeah. that with Biz, oh, we'd have been tight. Oh, see what I'm saying? And okay, every time I, I got into a biz, I just I just fought six niggas, homie. Come on. I would have gotten fought. Biz like, oh, it's on, it's on. It's cracking. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it no, sucks you exactly. in. But what happened what? was, no, let me tell you what happened. The inspiration and the motivation. It was people like him who didn't walk through my life story, who wasn't having that pity party with me. Who wasn't saying, "Hey, we're gonna, you know, I mean, we're gonna enable exactly, you to right. go." Right, okay. right. No, okay. they wasn't doing that. That's what I'm saying. It you can't do that. You have to have a system and a strategy to understand. Like, you know what? I, when I, I, agree, when, I agree, when I talk to this person, I'm gonna have one goal. My goal is to spark a fire. If if it does not spark, unless I work here, not the fire starter. Not, right, huh? right, they ain't uh, no, no great area, Phil. They ain't no great area. That's shit. Shit. That's no, 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 you know, but, no, but you know what, Phil? No. Phil, but did you see what Phil just did, though? But, but, he just made it to where you understood what was saying. See, what he's trying to say is, is everybody varies. It's different. You got to approach someone a different way. How he just approached you and you got into it. So what he's trying to say is he understands you. So what you got to do is understand the child to know which way to get them yes, to understand. Absolutely. So you not, said, not so you said uh, it doesn't matter what the child came through or came from. You should just automatically understand the what child. I'm trying to say, no, what I'm trying to say is that there's no structure. There's no instructions that say, listen, every single child that right. came I got here, three of them. This is... Oh, no, 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 no. I well, know you I'm, got a child too. You know? I do. So when I'm listening to a person that's telling me you got to come at the no, child, we talk, hold no, on, nigga. We talk, I'm, I'm, I'm we with these we, kids. We talking about a friends. problem child. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Pro, not I child. Problem a problem kids. child. Not so I what we're kids. saying, and then what Phil said is that these kids, they walk in like, oh, they're gonna be like everybody else. Everybody else done okay. gave up on me, so that's right. Why I'm here. So check, so check. I am the yeah. child that have that, right? Uh -huh. I'm the child that have that feeling. Everybody give up on you, right? That's what I'm right. yeah, okay. system. Abandonment right? issue. Abandonment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the yes. biggest person. When you say, oh, you can't do that, and I'm like, well, I'm a, I'm the abandonment baby. I'm the one mother said, no, I can't take care of him. Give him up. Mm. Here. Yeah. Yeah, you have them. Let the system take care of this nigga. Yeah. I can't take care of them. Matter of fact, take all my kids. You get what I mean? So you mean to tell me a person that come from I abandonment issues? Go ahead. With that point, how about you? Because I had people who d these exactly wait that's what we talking about right now. No, bro. these wait these people did not go through the shit that I went through, bro. Okay, wait. But they saw the good in you exactly. or or the skills exactly. or whatever it was. What it was what no wait. Yeah, go ahead. What it was was there was like a feel that was showing up to a spot every fucking time. Consistency. Wait, yeah. and it didn't matter how much I didn't want to see his ass or not. 
I had to see him. He was in your face. Now, wait. He made sure. Yeah. I was, it didn't, now, I was in a facility where that occurred. You get what I mean? And I, it's, just, it's like him going to the juvenile facility. It's like those. I was in a, a organization where I had to see these cats like him. Why? Because I had to play drums. I had to perform. I was in a different position. Yeah. I wasn't, wait, I wasn't my homeboy who did time. My homeboy, Terrell, we did, you know, we riding out so dope together. This nigga, you know, I mean, I get locked up. He, you know, get off run. That's all what he done. He's always been a runner, right? <coughs> when he gets locked up and go do his thing, he comes to the church and, you know, what I mean, they try to mm -hmm. give that weight. They try to give that to him, right? And they give him all the tools, all the tools, bro, that they gave me, right? It just doesn't work. Now, they just might have to take a little bit more time with him, right? It's just that they're going to apply someone else to handle that. Why? Because they're dealing with a mission of people who are really in. You get what I mean? But That's you, what I'm you saying. You know what it is, bro? I'm going to say it like this. It's really simple. In order to, to you got to find out what that person needs. Exactly. Exactly. And if you're removing a negative, you got to replace it with a positive that they need, want, or enjoy. Jesus did oh. what before he talked to the people? He prayed. He, he fed their ass. He gave well, he them prayed them first. Fishes. He, he took them two loaves of fish, five loaves of bread, and fed all these people. A multitude. Bef a multitude before he can even I, get them to like receive the word. Like so before I can even yeah. get you to understand who I am, I have to... Like you said, I have to feed you give where me, you me, are, give right? Me, give me, catch me, catch me. Right. Okay, so somebody did that for you, right? That's, they, they, they came at me the way I was. Now, I'm a foster kid. These niggas ain't no foster niggas. You know what I mean? I, they just knew how to talk. But they, they was given a they, gift they, that they operated on. Nigga, it. it took me, baby. I'll never forget. pre was like two days. I was like, oh, yeah, that's my nigga. nigga. I'm, I'm good with pre right? But Devon... I had to see this nigga. Devon didn't want to deal. He was like, I'm done Devon's with him. Devon was dope. Wait, wait. Devon was like, I am done with his ass. Why? Because he's freaking hardhead. Yeah, he's a drummer. Yeah, he's blase blase, but he's freaking hardhead, right? But Predar was like, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? I'll take him. Yeah, leave him alone. I got him. Right, because that's way, because that's him. I'm not, now he just addressed it earlier. Biz is not that nigga. The Biz is the dude to give you information, you receive it, you catch on. If you don't catch on, you got to catch the next wave. But you know what? That's it's what it's, it's, so it's like motivational right. speaking. That's when right. you do motivational speaking, bro, you know, you, 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 you got a per diem. You're going to get paid whatever, they, whatever your per diem is. That, I'm, you're going to pay me what I'm worth. Whether one or none get it, don't make a difference, you got paid. You see what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> in, in one of my books, this is what I wrote. The person that's delivering the message has to make sure the person that's receiving the message can decode the what? encoded message. Right. And if the person can't decode that message, then the, the sender has to understand that there must be a virus in the mix. Right. Mm -hmm. that's the right. virus can be childhood conditioning. The virus one. could be, I ain't got nothing to eat. The virus could be influence from the homies. The virus could be, I'm a radio host and I ain't got to hear that shit. Whatever the virus is. But as the sender, I have to make sure the receiver can decode this message. Right. That is my job. And so on the radio, on my show, I always say, don't shoot the messenger. The exactly. messenger is not as important as the message. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? For, for, for me, I can feel giving the message out. I'm saying certain things. Nah, it's what's up. Yeah, I, I, so, I, so, so I have a different. Yeah. I, I, no, I have so a. So you have, you have me, but biz is biz is, is more. You understand? I'm teaching. Uh, what's the word? Tech, textile. You more right. textile. Okay, I'm more, this is what it is. Biz, you get it. Understand? You don't get textile. Get it or get lost. Yeah. Kind of what it is. Uh, you don't get textile. Hey, you don't get textile. How come I don't come in and tell you something? And, Bro, I had to get on the pot. My grandma had to. You made a choice. You either right? get on the pot or get the fuck off, right? Exactly. So, so that was the way, either the shit I, or get off the pot. Right. So exactly. the way I grew up and all the people that were around me and that realm but, and was like yeah. that. Was like but whether that's they where were he's game bangers. From. Exactly. So, whether they, so, they, exactly. Whether they were game bangers, whether they were motivational, whatever, they had that model. Get off. Get. I mean, either shit or get off the pot. 
Well, well you know what it is. Also, I think because it, no, you had to get it correct. You, if you didn't get it, you had to. You know, <laughs> well, but but see, but see, but see, but look, but Biz grew up. No, but Biz grew up there. I, so I had he to grow was a fast. kid. No, but listen, right, but right. I had to grow he was very a, fast. Yeah, but he was a kid. <laughs> no, but listen, but he was a kid that like he knew what time it was. He went through it. See, we can only talk of motivational speakers, but we didn't actually go through it. But wait, but wait, but wait, he went through it. Okay, so he went through it. So he was the type of kid that said, listen, I know what time it is. Either I'm going to get with it or I'm going to get lost. So that's his attitude. So now when he's motivational speaking, he already know what the kid thinking because. No, he no, 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 but wait, but wait, he didn't but say he that. was already that he kid. Said, Fuck it. No, but wait, he comes. Right. He said he going to take the five that's listening and move forward. No, I understand but that. that's fine. That's and the reason why that is OK, because that's he's not. It's not his purpose to be a counselor. But his gift is through his back. music ministry. Yeah, say, say, fuck yeah. I'm, I'm gone. but his his yeah. fucking doesn't yeah. mean. That's the point but wait, I was getting. But listen, his, he grew up there. None of us did. His he fucking does there. not mean fuck y'all. It means, yeah. listen, you know, somebody you. else got to come water this or exactly. plant this seed because obviously yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, the one. Yeah, That's the only thing I've been saying. You know what I'm saying? I got that. What you want to say? But you can't do that for a child. Hey, deploy like damn. When is my show coming? <laughs> I'm just a sponge over here, like I said, because I'm, I'm learning and listening. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they on that, they on that Drake. It's people, cool. People, Stay in the feeling. That's good. People, we feel so at that book. People, sorry to go so long. We are done. Yeah. But. Two, yeah. we need, two hours and fifty two yeah, please, two hours and fifty three minutes. Three minutes yeah. man. You know what I'm please oh, tell man. me how good we could come back and we'll do it again. Please tell yes, me definitely. how would you filter all of this out in the last five minutes and just on your You won't take all that and want me to just <laughs> submit it in one like <laughs> oh, you, you better give me about this. Wait, 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 come on now. Wait, only only because this is, you know, what you do. I know it's gonna be a daily reminder. So what would be the next daily reminder off of something? Ooh, that's a tough there one. Go. He got about 35 daily got reminders. About 46 of them. I really like what you were saying the, the, about the, the virus. I really, I really absolutely. Take, take that to heart right there because it's absolutely, it, it's, 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 it's straight facts, right? You know, and I actually want to read that book. So you have to put me on the game and tell oh, me. Oh, that's where I that's get that. that's my book of that's dealing with uh, conflict mediation, okay, and resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because again, I'm learning from all that. So right. for me to come up with a little summation right here at the end, it's a, it's a little difficult for me to do that. But I'll tell you what. I'm grateful to be here with each and every one of y'all. I already know you, but right. now I know you better because right. yeah. you shared and you opened up a lot about right. yourself right. for me to understand you more as a man, as an individual, right. and as a as a warrior in this fight that we in because we well, all in a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And for me, we, I play, bro, I, bro. I, I mean, a lot of times with this show, I'll play the, I don't try to be... Titus. That, those, you know what I mean? I try to be the person that just asks a question. You know what I mean? He's a Not let them kind of get the jewels. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's a yeah. jokester. Yeah. Like, yeah. So what he's saying is he's trying not to be as annoying as we are. Yeah, we're so <laughs> annoying. Oh, man. I love you, man. No, 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 no. no it's but, beautiful, um, man, for real. Where can they find more of your stuff? Where can they see you? Um, Instagram, Facebook. I don't really, I, I got Twitter and everything, but I don't really mess with it. But mainly Instagram and Facebook under uh deploy d-e-p-l-o-i and uh that's where i normally drop my daily reminders all the time and then obviously the music is on apple music and pandora and spotify and soundcloud and title and all that stuff right there so we have a record that's about to play oh yeah this is a this is a brand new joint called uh real life and uh oh let me let me pull that up it's it's not it's not it's not even out yet it's it's is there anything that that was the the biz song is there is there anything you want to tell people before we get off air that something about your brand or something who you are and no what i want to tell people more more than anything the message is Uh, just to know know that your greatness for real that each and every one of us possesses something amazing inside but it's about being able to find it though and that finding that is the hardest part because we got to go inside and a lot of people especially because the way society has its program they don't want to look inside you know what i mean they'd rather get distracted by everything else that's around them so more than anything Find that beauty that's inside of you and let it shine for real. Because we all have we all have something to share with the world. You gotta hit us with the daily reminders. 
Peace, your world. D nightly reminders, right? Check it out. <laughs> nightly reminders. Have a blessed day, beautiful people, and always remember stay, stay shining. shining. Gas yeah. Mask yeah. Tribe. I like that, bro. I like that, man. Stay, yeah. Gas Respect, Mask Tribe, people. We are out yeah. of here. Thank you for another episode. Right, we are back here bo, next bo, bo, week. Bo, 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 bo. Just yeah. the cast. And we're going to go have. Like, we're going to go have. It's going to be Hey, big. I'm ready. Let's go. Next, next, <laughs> next week, right, people, guess, please tune in. Also, please <laughs> donate to the Gas Mask Tribe. Um, uh, Gas Mask Tribe TD at Cash App. Also, go to our Facebook, Instagrams, all that great stuff. Please follow Deploy. Go say hello. Say how you doing. To, you know, let yeah. me know the Gas Mask Tribe representing. Bring a uh, read yeah. along to the daily reminder. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Miss Red. Go call you in there. Hey, hey. You got it <laughs> right on the first hand. And also, thank you, cuz. Appreciate you, Dr. All the time. Bill. All the time. Yeah, yeah. we out of here. Thank you, thank, 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 thank you, thank you, you bro. I'm just the person with the baby idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. We out. Gas uh, mask tribe. Chill. Only real heads, no imposters. We stay switched and I dress on the roster.